Yo, what is up, pussies? We are back with another episode of Modcast, episode four. We are with Riser Fit and Zach Jennings. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? If you guys don't know who they are, Riser. Popped if you off. don't know who they are, what the yeah. fuck is wrong with you? You're not, you're not in the industry, okay? Riser popped off on TikTok, a similar time around me. Yeah, and was then summertime. Zach is just what? Fucking beast motherfucker, right? Zach's just a bear. Yeah. Just throwing <laughs> around heavyweights, you know? Real quick, before we get into anything, I am getting sued. So, which is kind of a joke, but not really. We don't really know yet. But the, you know, the psycho girl from last podcast, actually, some of you guys figured out her at, which shit happens. And she's, uh, she kind of threatened me for, and like suing me, but she doesn't really have a she case. She went nuts. Yeah. She, doesn't she have went a case. absolutely nuts. So. She doesn't have a case. I'm not really worried about it, but I just want to let you guys know, like, please don't. Please stop pursuing yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Like. It was, a, it, was a, it was a funny story, and then we just wanted to move I on. I trusted you guys, okay? But people, people went Sherlock Holmes, yeah. and they just had to investigate. Yeah. So. Well, let's get started. How did you, Zach, how did you start your, your social media career? Because I feel like I, I mean, I'm new to the industry, but I didn't really know, know you until, I don't know, maybe like two months ago. All right. So honestly, like I started with, uh, when I was like playing basketball for my high school, um, I was like pretty good. I was uh, tearing it up with the basketball. And what I position just, were you? I was a point guard. And I decided, like, <laughs> imagine this guy playing point guard, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. I, do you still have it? You go to the YMCA and fuck up the rack? Dude, I still have game. Like, my, my handles and stuff are crazy. Oh, I still shit. got bounce. Imagine this guy, 240 yeah, pounds, just, <laughs> in the just paint, mogging in the, the paint, whole. And he's court. doing, the, like, he's doing one of these, like the LeBron James. Like, <laughs> and pe- pe- people aren't even trying to yeah, guard him. They're just, all right, him fuck up. it. Just go for it, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't, don't hurt me. Yeah, so anyways, I was on the basketball team, and I uh, was originally, like, inspired by, like, surprisingly, like, David Lade and stuff, so I remember I, like, quit basketball, and everyone thought it was, like, really dumb for that, like, what, why are you quitting basketball? Like, you're going to be a bodybuilder? Like, you, you don't have the genetics for that. Like, you're not big. Yeah. And were, I you, just, were you thinking about playing college ball? Uh, I always knew in the back of my head it's, like, not realistic. Like, I'm, like, six-foot white guy. Like, the chances of me playing college <laughs> basketball are very, very slim. <laughs> At least he's honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. Um, were you starting? Yeah, I was, I was, I was starting. I was pretty good. Is there, is there a huddle that we can get? A huddle? Like you know, huddle. Like oh, oh yeah, yeah, like a highlight tape, yeah, highlight tape or whatever. Yeah. No, no yeah. highlight tape. I do have a few videos probably uh-huh. in my uh, camera roll and stuff that you guys can see. Yeah. So, we'll so see how much were you weighing when you were playing basketball? So I was like 160 pounds, but like and I knew. Six foot? Uh, I was about five eleven at the time. Okay. Yeah, and I knew I um, we had like the genetics for bodybuilding. A because my dad was a bodybuilder, like when he was like in his adulthood and stuff. And I was that kid that didn't really work out. But every time I worked out, like every single vein would come out, every striation would come out. And um, basically like responder. Yeah, I was a hyper responder. Three months into working now, I already kind of had like round muscle bellies and everything. So I'm like, damn, maybe like bodybuilding is actually my thing. And being so inspired by like David Light and stuff really motivated, motivated me to quit and basically pursue bodybuilding. And I started watching like, physique competitions and i thought oh maybe i can do this yeah, yeah and you just absolutely blew up so yeah. this you were like 16 at the time something like that 16 yep yeah that's usually that's when the uh that's when the the phenoms notice they have goat genetics and they're just like damn i'm pretty big yeah <laughs> yeah you're big with it and you're born to do it that's yeah. when you realize you're born to do it right so riser yeah riser fit the man I actually used to not really like Riser. Really? And I, I haven't even told you this. I, well, when I was coming up off of TikTok, bro, I was like, yo, fuck everybody else, man. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, Sush, I was in that Sush mentality. Sush was like, yo, I'm, I'm king of TikTok. Yeah, I was like, fuck this guy, fuck that guy. Yeah. But obviously now we're chill. But yeah. how was your, like... Your come up. Yeah. Well, it, it Obviously really, TikTok helped you a lot, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Now, TikTok, like, really helped. It really, like, started, like, right before quarantine started is when I started posting. But it wasn't, like, that, like, lean at the moment. And then, like, once we got into quarantine and got into lockdown, I decided to go, like, on a major cut and then started posting the hell on TikTok. Yeah. And I just got, like, peeled. I and mean, I was, like, I was small. I was, like, 175 pounds. No, bro, but pounds. you were fucking shredded, bro. Yeah. And everyone was, like, you were, like, the number one person that people would be, like, bro, this guy's not natty. <laughs> yeah. I was definitely, like, probably one of the first, like, fitness TikTokers to, yeah. like, really, That's like, so kind of blow funny up a lot. That you had the same, uh quarantine. I was bored. Started yeah, posting exactly. TikToks. It's such a different landscape than when... I started or when when we started actually it was the kind of the classic what's the word uh 
the, the classic way to come up, I guess, was like you start posting YouTube videos and a lot of people would do like the same old drone footage, vlog content, go to the gym, oh, yeah. EDM over their workout. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of the same shit with a bunch of people trying to come up. And then TikTok happened and around the same time Corona happened and oh, yeah. completely changed it's the landscape like, yeah, how like, people come up. It's like y'all fell off. No, I'm not saying you fell off, but it's like the... That type Yeah, that fell type off. fell yeah, off. Yeah. And then the TikTok generation. Right. Kinda, like there's like, nobody that... Well, there's probably a few, but... For the most part, there's nobody that comes up in the way that we came up anymore. So we kind of right. just got it in the nick of time yeah. before that became irrelevant. Well, think about this. Remember back in March of 2020, we were all at the Arnold Classic. We did not even know who like Sush was or Riser. Yeah, bro. It yeah. was like you guys were like, we didn't never heard of you guys. Yeah, they probably time. hadn't even started posting at that point. Yeah. That yeah was I, probably just, I probably just started. Okay. March. And then in summertime... I like saw you guys everywhere. Like I'm like, oh, who are these guys? Yeah. I'm like, this you're is like, pretty who dope. The fuck are these guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you're kind of blown up on TikTok now too. Just recently, yeah, a bunch. Of people I'm telling like, you guys. Sorry, if you want to blow up in this industry, it is TikTok right yeah. now. TikTok because the algorithm is just so fucking crazy, and it's like if you look sick or if you're funny or both, like me. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> um, then you like you'll essentially you just drive traffic to your other socials, and that's how you grow. And guys. The only thing that matters, again, you just need personality. You can look like complete shit. Look at yeah. Sush, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this hey, guy. he's bigger in real life, guys. He oh, is. yeah. Thank you Way for Way bigger that. in real life. He is. No, your, your arm looks big right now. Yeah. Not joking. Yeah. You're kind of flexing the tricep, but it's cool. I'm not really, though. Oh, you're not? No, dude. Look you think I flex? You think I flex the whole podcast like this? <laughs> I could yeah. do it. I could I, do I it. I would not put that past you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so what were you saying? You were saying... You just started posting TikToks. You got what, 30K? Yeah, like in the month, I literally just started posting TikToks, had like three videos that got over a million views. And I'm like, dang, like this algorithm is so much better than Instagram. Yeah. And yeah. like, it's like way more like uh, easy to blow up on TikTok and just basically, it's like a big advertisement for your Instagram, basically. Ex- Dude, I, that's I, how I, think- I figured That's Sorry, I, that's how I figured it. Like, it was like, okay, I have, I think at the time I probably had like 50K on TikTok. And I didn't really have much on Instagram. I was like, how can I get, like, obviously these I'm getting, people to yeah, Instagram. obviously I'm it's getting traction on TikTok. I was like, how can I get these guys to here? I started putting my Instagram and my YouTube and my bot in my captions every single time mm-hmm. or my, my, my comments. comments. And no one yeah. was doing that before. And so I was like, okay, this is fucking genius. Cause everyone checks the comments. If it's a good mm-hmm. TikTok, you're checking the comments. And so if you're the creator, your my comment is at the top. It says Instagram sush bro. And then that, so that's when I started like fucking. You know, well, did, did you link the Instagram with TikTok? Yeah, I had the link. I had okay. the link. Yeah, yeah. And then I also did that c- comment every single fucking time. I still do to this day. And well, when it's, I, when it's I just post. funny that Instagram and YouTube is still the end goal. Even though TikTok is the new cool thing to do, at their core, people know yeah. TikTok only lasts so long. Yep. And that's why you you haven't fallen off on TikTok. You more have distanced yourself from TikTok because yeah. you're growing organically on Instagram, YouTube, other platforms now to the point where you don't really need TikTok. So you kind of just said, fuck this because TikTok, just TikTok alone is hard to make money with. In my opinion, you really want to use that TikTok platform to funnel people into your Instagram and other social medias. 100%. I'm sure Joe, you are you on the creator fund? I am. Yeah. Creator fund doesn't pay shit. No, they pay like Two cents, like per thousand. Two views. cents, a thousand views, and that's if and it's and that's if you're the like fully monetized. Yeah. So and, and I, I, I just want to say, whack. YouTube pays for us. It pays what seven, eight dollars per thousand views. Yeah, something so, like that. Seven, like seven fifteen, probably. Yeah. Damn, yeah. We, we so kind of just dock like, star. <laughs> like we kind of just dock star. I mean, it's not really that much yeah. for YouTube, but um, yeah. So that is like a hundred times, well, hundreds of yeah. times more than TikTok. So. And I'm not even on the creator fund because I just think it's so fucking stupid. Yeah. I, 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 there's no point in me being on it because one, it like low key lowers your your views. It I does. don't know if that's true or not. I think they do kind of shadow ban you a little bit yeah, when because, you're on it. Yeah, they they're don't like, why, yeah, why would I want to pay you? But like, <laughs> yeah. I, can you yeah. imagine like Addison Ray or Charlie D'Amelio who are getting like millions of fucking views, fucking hundred million, like, bro, views hundred million of videos like a day, a few thousand bucks. Yeah, but yeah. a few thousand dollars a day. That's true, but that's also like the biggest on the platform right right. that is true yeah but i mean dude 4k like no no i was saying i was saying it i was saying they're only making two thousand dollars a day imagine pulling in hundreds of millions of combined views per day and only making a couple thousand for it yeah if you did that on youtube 
you would be making Mr. Beast hundreds money. of thousands of dollars per day. Yeah. So, so let's let's get right into it, guys. Everyone wants to know. Yeah, first biggest of all. Biggest thing. Natty status. Joe, what is your natty status? Joe, you're on the spot. Don't lie. I, I can am, hear the gears turning. I am 100% natural. Joe is natty. We talked about Are this. Are you 99% natural or 100% natural? He's 100%. 100% natural. He's 100% natural. All right. But when um I like I remember when TikToks were popping off the comments people were like yo cuz I I low key used to do like natty or nots yeah. on TikTok and people were like yo do riser is riser natty and I would get DMs is riser natty I'm like bro I don't fucking know what am I yeah like, I would always tell people though like natty 5'11 yeah, 175 man? pounds like yeah I mean I'm, I was small I mean I was shredded but I was small it's like it, once people get lean yeah. That's when people are like, no, dude, no way. Bro, no it's one hundred percent lean. Like that's why I can't wait to lean out and then the people are like, yeah. No questions when, she's on gear. Bro, like, when when people ask me if someone's natty, what I usually say is I would need to see them in a t shirt. Cause if they're small in a t shirt, ninety nine percent chance they're natty. Cause if they just if they're small in a shirt, but then they pull up their shirt and they've got abs, it's like, okay, you're just lean. But if you yeah. look huge in a t shirt and then you pull up your shirt and you're fucking shredded, it's like Okay, yeah. questionable. And you know? and so, by the way, the reason why we were saying Joe was 99% natty is we gave him Cialis. <laughs> and we gave Joe and Zach Cialis, and they low-key were like, yo, this is like a fucking crazy pump. Yeah, Next pump level. I don't think, yeah, honestly, I'm just joking. Cialis definitely doesn't take your natty card, but it's yeah, definitely no, it a doesn't. sex ped for sure. Like, it we does take your sex this. natty card. Yeah, your sex bro. natty card, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Cialis. <laughs> it's gone. And so, Zach. Yeah. What is, uh, what's your natty status, man? So a lot of people always ask me, Zach, are you natty? What's going on? Like, why are you, you know, just tell us. And basically, um, I can't really disclose that information because I am still under my parents' roof. Right. So that's like the moral of the story here for that point. Yeah. That's like how I was, dude. When I was, when I was younger. Yeah. When I was 19, I think I started test. Like I was like, yeah, I was 19. I started test and I was still under my parents' roof. Dude, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had like a briefcase. Like, what fucking nineteen year old has a briefcase, bro? <laughs> I had a briefcase filled with slings. They, they, they never, they never thought anything of that. They well, I hid it. It was like a briefcase, and then I would also like put it under pillows and stuff in my in yeah. my closet. And then like I would lock my door, run the shower, blast music, and then I would just like, you know, pin and shit. <laughs> bro, I have seen the most insane hiding places from people who are usually younger that are still living with parents. One guy that I saw who is a prominent figure in the industry, and, and most of these people, they don't claim natty. They just don't talk about it, and then people assume the worst. They assume, like, oh, you don't talk about it because you're trying to, like, lie to kids and take their money and scam them. and blah, blah. It's like, no, bro. Yeah. Usually, it's, there's other reasons, right? But this guy would, I can't even remember the full process, but he showed me on FaceTime. It was like he put test in like a bag and then he put was it this in a hiding sock. from his parents or like yes. hiding from the feds? Kind of both. Okay. And was he, he in the United States? Possibly. Okay. <laughs> and he would take that, put it in a sock, then put it in like a little tight bell jar, and then put that in an old Xbox 360. Oh my god. That, god. And, but like open it up. Like he gutted had this, the Xbox. He gutted the Xbox, put this thing in there, and then put other stuff on top so that it looks like if someone were to happen to open this Xbox 360, it would look like it was a storage unit. Jeez. Like, bro, and every time this guy pinned, he had to go through the process yeah, of taking out his thing. old Xbox. That was my thing. I was like, it's such a process to bro. pin. I was like, dude, I just want to pin like once a, once a week, man. Like, this is so annoying. For all my gear and SARMs and whatever, and even sex stuff, for some reason, I just, I was living with my parents at the time. And my hiding place was just the side of my bed. And one day they found it and they're like, bro, you got hella sex shit over here. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay, well, <laughs> what are they supposed to say? You know, 19, like, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, so I, I used to hide like my vapes, like, cause I used to vape pretty hard and I didn't want my parents to know. So I had a similar thing to that Xbox. It was like a shoe box in a sock and it's just like, hidden away in a corner and i was just always like oh no like i would literally be driving home for, like from the gym and i'd be like yo imagine they were just like searching my room no yeah. no reason why they should well, the bro, way I would. when i moved out of here 
or when I moved out of my house and moved here, I was 21 at that point, and my bedroom had not been deep cleaned for probably a decade. <laughs> and I just, I thought, you know what? I can either try to hide this shit from my parents or they can discover the real me. Yeah. And I figured that one, I'm like, I don't really care. And they clean my room and they're like, bro, you got so much shit in there. I'm like, yeah, sorry guys. So real quick, how did you two meet? Because I, I was under the impression that you guys were like buddies, like really, really good buddies. But it turns out you guys have only met like one time before this, right? Yeah. Um, actually, we met, it was, uh, what was it? Three November. or four months ago. Yeah. yeah. Your um, show. Yeah, I was getting ready. Uh, I was doing my national competition, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder who's out in towards, like, the Carolinas, you know? And uh, I, I think I sent a DM to you, didn't I? Yeah, you sent a message to me. I sent a DM to Joe, and I'm like, uh, yo, why don't we, like, collab while I'm out here? Like, that'd be cool if we got, like, a workout in. Uh, maybe throw in, like, Jermaine. You guys seen him on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, so then we all got together after my show, after they got the song. They saw me compete and everything, and it went really yeah. well. And you won, right? Oh, uh, no, this is actually, I won my overall at my local show, and this is, like, the national competition, mm. so I was going for my pro card, and I got second call, which is just really good, because I was a teenager. That's not real, bro. And 100, like, I mean, basically 100% natural, let's just put it that way. Yeah. yeah. And, bro, that was, you that, were that looking, a pretty stacked class. You were looking fucking ridiculous. Thank you, man. Yeah, it was insane. I literally, I would say, like, that was the hardest prep ever. I, like, had to suffer for that. To get that condition, it's next level intensity, bro, and, like, your and, mindset is crazy. And how many calories were you eating? So during peak week, I got all the way down to a thousand calories. Jesus. What, what was your diet? What was your diet? Like exactly. It was probably same thing every day, right? Must have been ice sandwiches, bro. Yeah. yeah was, in a homie was cal. hungry. Dude. So it was literally like. <laughs> I Homie be, was eating dick. He was fucking like <laughs> so hungry. I would pace around my room and stuff and just like wait for my next meal. And then I would finally get to my next meal. And it's like three pieces of chicken and uh, a few nuts. And I'm like, bro, like I'm literally going to go fucking crazy if I don't eat again. And then I'd have to wait three more hours. And then I just remember how excited I was to eat. Like, I'm like, Every almost done with my time. workout, almost done with my workout. And then I would basically drive 100 miles per hour on the freeway to get home just so <laughs> I could so eat three eat. more pieces of chicken. <laughs> so Dude. it went on for like a week. It was like a never ending chase of hunger. And then each day I would literally like check myself in the mirror and There'd be like new lines, new veins. And it was like every single day, every single that's day. That's so, that's gotta be motivating as fuck. Cause yeah. I've never been that lean. So it's like seeing Bro, this, this daily this, changes. Yeah. This, this week, everything realize. comes out. This made me realize you're never going to step on stage, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Imagine you eating 1,200 cows. It would day. have to be, I would have to be on so many drugs. Like yeah. the antag, the, what was it? It's the, the ghrelin antagonist. The ghrelin antagonist, which is yeah. like super expensive. But I mean, I it would works. have to do it and like literally just trick my body into thinking I'm not hungry. Because that supposedly fat motherfuckers get shredded on that. That's what Derek well, was yeah, saying. Well, yeah, because you're the ghrelin is the hunger hormone. Yeah. So when you antagonize it, you just simply don't get hungry. Yeah. Wow. I've actually heard of that. Yeah. It, but it's like stupid expensive. Yeah. So. And it's like a research chemical. It's not super well known, but I wouldn't need that, bro. If I prepped, I'd probably be feeling pretty chill until like two weeks out. Yeah. Because I don't really eat a lot of food. So you literally go crazy. Like you start like I'm a very chill person. You guys been with me for a few days now. Mm -hmm. You guys know I'm not very confrontational. I'm not aggressive. Zach is a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I just remember like I would flip out on my family members for the simplest stuff. Did like they understand or how what like what they did, but it got to the point where I was being such like a dickhead that they would call me out for it and be, they were like, you're being very irrational right now and very angry. Mm -hmm. And I was just literally starving and it, ch it changed my entire personality, hands yeah. down. It's like he's on trend, but yeah. it's just because he's not eating. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember my sister would be like in the bathroom for too long and I would start pacing around and like hussing and pussing. Get the about fuck that. out of the bathroom. Yeah. I literally <laughs> said that. Um, I was like, get the fuck out of there and stuff. And she's like, geez, Zach, like what's going on with you? Like, you've never been acting and like he, this. he's like, what's going on with you? He takes off his shirt. Fucking look at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> oh, yo, yeah. I remember Um, it was like my refeed for, um, it was like the carb loading phase of right before you're about to hop on stage, right? You, Three probably, days out. you probably got way nicer, bro. I started getting nicer every fucking meal. And I remember <laughs> the first meal I got, it was like, it was like a lot more rice than usual. And I'm like, I was just ready to eat this thing. And out of nowhere, there's like eight people in this room that I'm about to eat this meal everyone's eyes is on me while I'm eating, like about to take a bite. Ooh. I literally put my fork down and said, what the fuck is everyone looking at yeah, right now? That's really annoying. Cause I was, that's I was so sitting there annoying. starving and they're all eating like right. ice cream cookies. And I'm like, just leave me alone. Let me eat this rice. That's not going to satisfy me at all. <laughs> but yeah, I took a bite out of that rice and then 
like after that meal, I swear to God, like I had a smile on my face and it was like permanent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was crazy. Bro, I swear when I was, I mean, I can't even say I was dieting that hard after he's talking about fucking a thousand calories, but I'd be eating like 2,400 and my mom would want to talk to me and I'd be, because I'm obviously a really hungry person. I'm like, yo, you're always just on edge. Yeah. I'm like, listen, like I'm not trying to talk to you, especially when I have a plate of food in front of me where I'm like, this is the only time I'm happy. Yeah. You literally sit there and stare <laughs> at it and each grain of rice that goes in your mouth. You're like, oh, that was so good. Bro, oh, do, you, so good. do you slow down when you eat? Like when you were eating that little, were you trying to enjoy it more? Or were you just fucking Dude, it looked it? like I was like, like going hard interested in my food like i would sit there and i would stare at it like look at it like 40 different ways and then when it was gone i would literally be like upset like because yeah. that's how hungry i was you and know? how was how was like because you kind of told me you were getting into you you literally had like an eating disorder okay yeah so we're gonna discuss that um at the end of my show i don't know if you guys remember i went from the most shredded person on probably instagram yeah i was probably the most shredded person on the instagram at the time this is in november one week after my show, I gained 45, 40, 45 pounds. Holy shit. That's some Anthony Mantello oh. shit. But worse, though, because he only gained oh, really? 25 in three yeah. days. I gained 45. So I just Holy remember, shit. dude. Well, like, you blew up, we probably blew up like a water balloon, dude. Yeah, my face was disgusting. Like, it was the fattest it's ever been. My cheeks were out to here. And then I remember I was so hungry that, like, everything that was in front of me, I would get, like, a whole box of Jets pizza, like a large, down the entire thing and still be hungry. Like, it was literally dysfunctional. And then um, I remember I would eat a box of Oreos, and then I would still be hungry. Like, there was nothing that could satisfy me, mm. and I just kept eating and eating and eating. And then um, I didn't really care about what I looked like or anything because, like, I was just so addicted to you food. You were so addicted. Yeah. Yeah. You were addicted to Jeez, food. Bro. And that shit is is real, bro. Addicted I, yeah, to food. Yeah, I, I 100% believe it. Well, I mean, you I just, see me I, go hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but when we were at the Airbnb... Sush would you were on what 25 2700 yeah. cal something like that yeah and that's not even that low imagine I mean, yeah but you're like six three and you're trying to eat a lot and yeah like you're i don't know what was going on but you were only on 2500 cals and i think your metabolism was slow but your hunger was still high yeah so you were in this really fucked situation and he would eat his caloric intake for the day and then at night, you would eat not one of the little yeah, the GIF, GIF bottles, the but GIF. one of the big motherfuckers, the big GIF yeah, thing, which has 8,000 cows in it. He went through one in two days, Yeah, dude, bro. straight spoon. And that was on bro. top of what he was already eating. So that bro. was 4,000 cows a day of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, bro. And I would wake up feeling so shitty because it's all fat, you know? Yeah. I would wake up feeling so shitty. I, I Fat and salt, bro. I would eat sugar. that. Yeah, sodium. It's fucking terrible. I would eat. I would have like... A spoonful, spoonful. This is in the dark, bro, because I couldn't even... I didn't even want to... look like a crack addict, Bro, dude. I didn't even want to look at myself because I knew how bad, like, what I was doing it was. Like, I'm just cheating and shit. Mm -hmm. So, I, like, ha would be in the dark, bro. It was so depressing. And I'd be eating this shit. And I'd be like, okay, last spoonful. You know, sp fucking spoonfuls in. Wash my spoon. Close up the jiff. Put it away. And then I'd be like, okay. And then, like... Dude, I would literally like take multiple steps towards the room at the Airbnb. It's a small, it's a small place. I would take like four steps and I would literally fucking turn around, bro. I would turn around and go back and grab another spoon and fucking continue. There were times I would fucking like, I'd be like, okay, I need to brush my teeth. Cause I heard a trick is like brush, brush your teeth, teeth after every single meal because you like your head's like, oh, I just brush. I don't want to eat anything. Mm -hmm. So I would brush my teeth, bro. And I'd just be like, I would literally like lay in bed. I would lay in bed and I'd get back up and fucking go eat eat that shit. Wow, that's brutal. And like, now bro, you're cruising on like four thousand calories. Yeah, a day Yeah, thirty seven fifty right now. And you're feeling much better. Yeah, so yeah. my cut will be hopefully pretty easy. But bro, that's fucking nuts. And I'm glad, bro. I'm glad that you talked about like the eating disorder thing because that's definitely real, especially in the fitness industry. I feel like because yeah. I was kind of making jokes about it on TikTok before. I was like, I was like, yo how is counting calories or how is me wanting to look good and eating disorder? But dude, now I could totally see how it is. Like, mm -hmm. especially when you're in your case or my case where I literally can't even fucking. Well, I mean, it, it's not just that there's, it's not be, it's not that there's eating disorders because you're in the fitness industry. It's that because you're in the fitness industry, you then get eating disorders. Right. When you're surrounded by people that look insane, you know, maybe only, 10% of them are super lean, but those are the 10% that you're going to focus on and be yeah. like, damn, I wish I was that lean. 
So there's always whether kind be, of this whether pressure. It be genetics or right, 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 and gear. and there's always this kind of pressure to like look better, and then also with like competing, you gotta really have your shit down with your relationship with food, because especially after you compete, like binging is probably the most common thing. Yeah, people will put on insane amounts of weight, and it's because, um, at least the way Derek put it to me, I don't know too too much about this, but your hunger hormones there's ghrelin makes you hungry leptin makes you not hungry hungry. and the overall levels of those hormones flip as you're going through prep and they don't just flip back to normal the day after you eat a lot of food so your body's in starvation mode your ghrelin is super high leptin's in the toilet and you're that's why you're always hungry and nothing satisfies you because there's literally hormones in your brain telling you to eat 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 and that's that doesn't go away for weeks after a show. I remember it was about maybe four weeks of every single day. I'm not kidding you guys. I would say I had at least six to seven thousand calories a day. Just imagine that for four weeks straight. Yeah, but, but then coming coming straight off of a off of one thousand calories a day. Yeah, I was just blowing up, and mm-hmm. you can even see like a separation between my arm and deltoid because like there was just so much water retention that like all my lines faded away. And it was like mentally like killing me too. Like I'm like, wow, I just worked that hard and now I look like shit out of nowhere. Yeah. So that's another thing, guys. Like if you guys are going to go on a big extreme diet for like a prep, make sure that you guys reverse diet. Like it's totally worth it. And it's, it's okay hard. to have like it's three days, hard. three days where you guys just cheat, binge, do whatever the hell you want and enjoy that. But on that fourth day, you guys got this like tie down and say like, I have to eat my reverse diet or else, you know, it's, it's going to happen. Joe, when you were fucking diced in the summer, what was what was that like? Because I see you eat here. You don't have you don't eat like too crazy. Like you're almost like oh, I gotta get these meals down. So you're almost in like the same boat as James with yeah. like the hunger thing. But how do you handle like when you were diced, bro? Was that hard for you or no? Nah, not really. Like we were always like pretty busy during the day. Like we were like playing basketball all day, like out by the pool and stuff. And like honestly, like I just enjoyed like looking shredded and like being lean. Yeah. And, like, again, like, with the food, like, with James, like, I really, I don't like eating that much. Like, this bulk has been rough. Like, down in, like, 4,000 plus calories a day. Yeah. Like, it's hard. Like, it's, like, force feeding literally every meal. I feel like that's a key point what you said right there. Sorry. No, that's a key point. You said staying busy. We were busy. We were playing basketball. Yeah. 100%. When I had a job, it was so much easier. for Like, the days where I didn't work, were mm-hmm. those were the days where I was eating more than I should be. But the yeah. days that I did work, I was too busy in the mm-hmm. day, I was working a job at Costco, and I and I didn't have time to eat. Yeah. So Bro. staying busy is the number one thing for yeah. sure. And I was making hella TikToks at the time, too. And I saw, like, how lean I was. So yeah. I was like, and I you're getting keep DMs, bro. You're getting DMs from, oh, from yeah. girls and yeah. stuff. 100%. 1,000%. Like, now you're booed up, though. Yeah. I wouldn't say I don't like food. I love food. And when I get hungry, all I can think about is, like, oh, I'm going to eat so much when I get home. And you guys saw me. I was so hungry in the car. I had a single cheeseburger from In-N-Out and some fries and this lemonade. And I'm not full, but I'm satisfied. I'm not still hungry. So it's like, it's one, hard for me to force feed and two, low appetite. So those do not go hand in hand. Like it's because I have low appetite, don't eat a lot. And then I can't really stuff the food down my throat. So and then Anadrol. You you add in orals, yeah. But I mean, I eat. wouldn't say that's a huge contributing factor because I only take that a couple. Of well, times. with with Zach, I'm probably taking it more. But usually, when it's just us training normally, I only probably take that twice a week. Yeah. But if you're yeah, if you're running an oral cycle, the liver toxicity, I don't know exactly why. And when I asked Derek about it, he's like, "That's a that's a whole another topic as to why that happens." But liver toxicity ruins your appetite. Well, the thing so. is, is you also take MK, MK677. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually cycle update. For the past, I don't know, two weeks, um, I've been taking MK basically every day. And then before that, I was taking it like three days a week. And it has been helping. I've yeah, been you hungry. say you get I've fucking been, hungry on MK. I get really hungry, yeah. When I, it's weird. When I take MK, I don't have any hunger. I actually did a cut on MK and LGD. So, for Jesus. some reason, for some reason, like you would think, yeah, it's oh, probably because it's probably because your hunger's already maxed out. It can't get any higher. <laughs> yeah, it can't bro. get any higher. MK doesn't do shit. <laughs> yeah, so I literally have no effect on MK. I've used multiple sources. Like maybe one was bunk, dude. Literally no effect. Yeah. But that that reminds me, I do want to talk about real quick. 
I've get, been getting a lot of thing, um, a lot of DMs to talk about like my uh, first couple of cycles. So real quick, when I was 19, I was a sophomore or no, I was a freshman in college. I think it was 18 or 19. I don't fucking know. And I was literally like six months into lifting at school. And I was like, fuck it, man. Like at my school was a military college and everybody was like, not everybody, but a lot of people were on SARMs. And so like SARMs were like talk of the whole school. And I was like, fuck it, man. I'll just get on SARMs. I did eight weeks on LGD. Oh, I'm not going to get into the dosages. It was low. But I fucking like blew up one because I was eating like everything in sight, like 4,000 calories, 4,500 calories, whatever. And I blew up and I loved it. It was like, a blue, I mean, I got fat. I got, it was like pretty dirty bulk. Mm -hmm. Gained like 30 pounds, dude. And then I took like a week and a, or like a month and a half off, cut on LGD and MK. That was the last SARMs that I've ever touched. And then once I started filming TikToks, that was when I was like pretty, I was probably the leanest I've ever been in my life. I was making TikToks, blew up. And then I was like, okay, low key, I kind of want to do this fitness shit. Went to my LA fitness, went up to the biggest guy in the gym. And I was like, yo, dude, I need some tests. He gave me tests. And like now I was like, run at one point I was running like 500 megs of tests a week. Jeez. Yeah, which is the most tests I've ever done. I was kind of stupid. I was using AIs and shit, which is no good. And um, did that. And then I cruised on 200. And then I just recently tried DECA. Fucked your face. Fucked my face up. So I quit the DECA. Right now. It's um, just test. Yeah, right now it's just test. 210 milligrams. So just a little bit over um, like a therapeutic dose. But I'm that's trying to actually like, not. That's not that many compounds. So you've done LGD test DECA. Yeah. And that's then it? you can consider like carterine. Uh Yeah. Besides like the. And I've taken like Anadrol. Okay. So you've taken. But in terms of cycles. Yeah. Yeah. So. That was that. And then now I'm just doing tests because I want to keep, I've been getting like a lot of DMs about my liver and Accutane. So I'm really trying to like be healthy with it. You know, I'm not trying right. to get jaundice, man. Right. So, right. you know, I'll just keep the test. Probably, probably good. Yeah. <laughs> so I've gotten, this is probably most, well, not, not most common question I get, but when I came out about using test, I said that it wasn't the only thing that I used in the past. Because, yeah, Lex, is Lex, uh, is Lex good? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Because he texts me too. All right. <laughs> when I came out about test, the thing that really annoyed me the most was that a lot of the other unnatty reveals that I saw would be people that I knew had taken stuff in the past, like for a fucking fact. And then they came out and said, because they got to a point where it was so obvious that they were on shit. They kind of had to talk about it and they would come out and say, okay, like I just want to let you know, I will be unnatural for this cut or for this show or whatever, or I'm going to start taking this and that. And it's like, dude, I know you've taken shit in the past. Yeah. Stop. Like why, why yeah. just, why not just come out and say, Hey guys, I wasn't really comfortable talking about this before, but I have taken stuff in the past and this is what I'm on now. Right? So that's it, what I came out and did. What do they what? call that? Um, Half truthing? No, it's like, what do they, I think Derek, I don't know what it is, but there's like a word for it. He um, almost like, cause I think low key, like Greg Doucette, bro, when he was natty, when he said he was natty. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like. It's like it, it's like the new fake natty. Yeah, yeah, the, it's new, the new fake, fake natty. natty. Because I don't know, and honestly, no hate to Greg, I have no clue. Dude looks fucking insane for how old is he? How old he is? And back then, he looked insane. Mm -hmm. But when he was claiming natty in those photos, he looked absolutely fucking diced. And I'm like, yeah. and dude looks like round muscle well I'm like, I don't know if this guy has crazy fucking genetics, which he does, mm -hmm. but like, or maybe he's like half half lying, like mm -hmm. doing the I was natty here, I'm not natty here. Mm -hmm. I don't really know, obviously. Because, but that's just like my opinion. He does look questionable, but yeah. like, yeah, but like you said, I, I, that's the it's, new, it's, it's the new fake natty. It's because people, they, in their heads, they're like, well, I look this good now. And back then I was only on X, Y, Z. So I know I could have achieved it natty. So I'm just going to say that it was natty because it wasn't even a high dose and it was just yeah. test. Right. So they try to justify it in their heads as to like, oh, well, I totally could have achieved it, Natty. And if I say that it was unnatty, then people are going to get the wrong idea and think that I needed gear to look like that. So I'm just going to say that it was natty because, like, in theory it was, right? But it's a lie. So 
all the shit that I took, uh, I was going to make this a, like a, my own separate video, but I'll just include it here. So when I was like 18, I took MK for not very long, like, like a six, couple seven, weeks. seven or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I say MK, I'm referring to hunger MK, not uh -huh. Austerine MK. So I took MK for, and I by think, the way, two or three weeks. Real what? quick, just want to cut you off. SARMs are not safer than steroids. I'm going to so, get into that. Yeah, Hold I on. hate that where it's like, because the reason why I didn't want to do steroids, jump right in, which I regret, I regret taking SARMs, like LGD. Mm -hmm. I should have just like waited and then hopped on tests when I was ready. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, no pin, no, no worry. Yeah, so like no not pin, no think. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to think about if it. it goes in my, if it goes in my mouth, I'm chilling. But if, yeah. it, if I have to inject it, it's like, oh, scary, right, right. scary. Yeah, exactly. Because then it, then it seems more real. Yeah. Even though there's injectable SARMs yeah. that do the exact same thing and work even better. So when I was 18, did MK for two or three weeks, and I decided to stop. I can't remember exactly why. I think I just got cold feet and was like, oh, this like isn't really natty, and like I shouldn't be doing this, and like insulin sensitivity and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then after that, there was a long period where I kind of fell out of love with lifting and was focusing much more on school, so there was no reason for me to take anything because it was like, what am I going to train three times per week and like take tests? That's stupid. So I was focusing more on school. Then when I made plans to see David again early 2019, I was like, oh, fuck, I've lost so much size. I literally look worse than the first video I did with him in 2017. I got to commit to the gym and I got to take some shit to get my physique back. So I ended up taking MK677 from, <laughs> I don't know if it was spiked with anything because I looked fucking insane, bro. You and then I D-ball. Well, okay, so I don't think it was D-ball, but I took MK and then for a few weeks... I, I like after I started the MK, I added in rad 140, but I think that was legit bunk because it had no effect on the way that I looked. MK was night and day, filled out right away, looked leaner, was eating more. I mean, it was night and day, clearly real shit, but the rad 140 didn't change me at all on top of that. So I just stopped it because I was like, who knows what's actually in this, but I took MK for a few months because I didn't really know you should like stop it because of the whole insulin resistance thing. And honestly, that was maybe the most aesthetic I've ever looked from a female perspective. Because for some reason, I don't know if it was maybe just MK plus the fact that it was the first like real cycle I'd ever yeah, done. You still had your, sh your young shape. Right. I had the young shape, but also just like less beefy. Yeah. Everything was just so lean and shredded and there's videos from there where like everything like I had the skeleton face and I had the dick skin on my abs and I was just I looked insane then didn't really fuck with anything until summertime um I went to a fitness event and I took 10 milligrams like some stupidly because we were low on real Anivar and I took uh 10 milligrams of Anivar for two weeks, I think. Just one a day. And I didn't really notice anything from that crazy because it was only 10 migs. And then later that summer, I went to another event or another travel or, I don't know, collab to someone, wanted to look good. And I took a pro-hormone called uh, DMZ. And... I just want to say, because this is all, this sounds like, bro, you're so stupid. Why would you take this random shit? Because at the time, it's the same thing. I didn't want to commit to gear. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. Needle scary. Needle scary, but also it was just like, okay, like I'm just going to take, this says I should take two to three per day for a month. So I'm just going to take one a day for like a week and a half or two weeks. And that's how I'll justify to myself that like it's not really helping me that much. It's just like drying me out a little bit so I look better in pictures. Why not? Come on, man. You know? So I knew deep down that like this is wrong. But I was like, oh, like it's one pill a day, bro. It says that I should take three a day and I'm doing it for like a week. Who cares, right? And that's actually probably true that it's not really going to change you that much in that period of time. But when you keep going to events 
and they're every yeah, that few shit's, weeks, that's just right? Adding it up, starts dude. adding you're, up. You're running mini so cycles. So you do a bunch of little mini cycles, and each time you justify to yourself, oh, this isn't really making that much of a difference because it's only a half dose for half the time you, you should run it. But you do that, you know, five, six times, and it's like, damn, I don't look natural anymore. Yeah. You know? And uh, pro-hormones, this goes without saying... Sorry, don't fuck, <laughs> don't fucking take. Him. Don't take pro hormones. You should take pro hormones even less than you should take SARMs. It was stupid, and the only reason I did it is because I could get it at a supplement shop, which is insane, bro. The fact that steroids are so illegal, and you can literally buy pro hormones from a supplement shop, that it ripped my hair out of my head, bro. I remember one time, I took DMZ for like two weeks, and I don't really know why I decided on DMZ. It just I don't know. It was like, okay, give me that one. And it's honestly a pretty badass name though. Like, yeah, it sounds, I've it never even cool. heard about it. It sounds cool. DMZ. Um, and I showered and I scrubbed my hair and I looked down at my hands and I think I still have a video because I took a video of my hand. There were probably 50 hairs Jeez. on my hand just turning it around and I'm just in shock. Immediately stopped that pro-hormone and then... Now we're at about just November 2019. Then I went to see Hannah and I'm like, I want to look good for her. So I took another pro hormone oh my God. <laughs> called Hexadrone or something like that. Hexadrome, Hexadrone. And that actually gave me gyno. So I stopped that right away. And I think after the Hexadrone, I was like, fuck all this. I was like, yeah, I was fashion. Well, no, at that point now we're at like January 2020 and I'm like, bro, fuck this shit. Like now I've, I've been able to skate by this long without really any side effects besides like my hair fell out once. Um, but I've been able to skate by this long, but gyno that is like, that is the equivalent of karma looking at you in the face and being like here, bitch. Yeah. You're (laughs) cause you, cause you're the number one hater of gyno. You yeah, fucking yeah. hate gyno. I, I, Honestly, I don't mind it, but you're like, oh, it's the most least aesthetic thing, and like, you fucking hate it. Okay, I don't want to offend anyone with gyno. Out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. that, like, the for me, the easiest thing. I don't care about crooked abs. I don't care about uneven abs. I don't care about bad bicep insertions. But if you're shredded and you have big old nipples with the lumps, to me, I'm just like, that shit simply is no longer aesthetic. You know, I don't think so, it ever, ever. Oh, you're saying like the body. It kind of yeah, ruins the whole physique. Yeah. Even in like the bodybuilding industry, if you have gyno and you're on stage and you're trying to win a show, it's you think that hurts good. you? It you hurts, hurts you completely. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's there, what you, I mean, at that point, if you're on stage, I'm just getting sliced. Yeah. Bro. Well, imagine having everything like dry, crispy looking, and then there's two big lumps. <laughs> yeah. Just looking, yeah. Like Straight looking udders. like udders. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're going to get dead last. I hate to say it, but like. It's just not good for like the aesthetics, right, mm-hmm. bro? But do you think so, do you think girls know what gyno is? I mean, I think they can look at a nipple and be like, "That shit big." <laughs> nah, but bro, because <laughs> he got a boob. <laughs> because somebody texted me the other day who we're close with, and he was like, "Bro, what's gyno?" And I'm like, he was like, "You got to tell me what gyno well, is." He probably I see it just all the hadn't time. heard of the term. No, I'm like, bro, it's like when you get a little lump under your tissue, and then I showed him someone who has it, and he goes, "I've looked at him." A million times on social media, I've never even noticed that. Can you say who it was? Um, that, it was that Gary. You showed him? Oh, I showed him John. It was Gary. Oh, really? It was Gary. I showed him John. He didn't know what gyno was until I told him. And then he goes, oh, I go, John has it. Mm-hmm. So, like, go look up John. He's got it. And he goes, I just noticed that now. Hmm. So, bro, honestly, like. It was probably because Gary's running a fucking company. He's not looking <laughs> he's at not guys' looking at, nipples. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. But honestly, bro, like, if I'm on the beach and, you know, I got a little gyno and. Just like a hot girl, probably, probably wouldn't care. Honestly, I mean, a little gyno is fine, but it's anyway. It started to to form under my right nipple, and if oh wait, we should probably explain what gyno is because there's probably people out there that oh, don't know what gyno it is. Oh, gyno is when your nipples get puffy because your estrogen gets high because you're fucking with your hormones. Yeah, and so you also if it gets bad, you can develop like a literal lump. Yeah, yeah, and I was getting the literal lump. Like I wasn't patty. getting like a little puffiness. I was getting a lump because I would feel it and there would be a lump there. And anytime like Hannah would like roll over or whatever yes. or like hug me, right? I would be like, <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I like the other day fucking it happened like... I'll t- 
tweak it or someone will lay on it and I'll be like, mm-hmm. yo, like relax. And you it's, have to be careful. And not, now it's kind of no longer an issue because I'm on DECA only. So my estrogen has been pretty low for a while. So now I don't really even have a lump. Like if I were to press on it really hard, it might hurt a little bit. But like back then it was new. I wasn't used to it. And I was getting the classic lump under the nipple. So I said, fuck this. Or the little rocks. Like you, when people go through puberty, sometimes they get the rocks. Have you guys ever had the rocks? Yeah, through puberty, I had the rocks. Yeah, for did sure. you have rocks? The fuck I is the rocks, so, bro? Honestly. It's you know how when you pinch, when your gyno's first getting started, do you, you remember get the lump? It's like a lump, but it feels like a very small rock, well, like yeah, a very yeah, small yeah. pebble. Sure. So that's like when you go through puberty, like everyone. Sometimes you get that? Yeah, every like I would have buddies who'd be like, "Yo, bro, do you have this rock?" And some people would say yes, and some people would say no. Hmm. And so it's just like I, I don't think I ever had gyno through puberty And that's how I knew Like this is not puberty gyno At yeah, this point I was same. 20 years old Same And I I'm like okay gyno. James Like time to look in the fucking mirror <laughs> You know So I stopped the hexadrone And Then <laughs> For uh, For undisclosable reasons I took LGD At a relatively m- Relatively good dose During quarantine for 10 weeks, I think. Um, Did you PCT? No. Smart guy. <laughs> well, I, I I took it for a reason. And basically, LGD, oh. com- yeah, LGD completely shut me down. Um, fully 100% shut me down. Like, I'm going to make... That is going to be its own separate YouTube video because there's so many kids that are doing SARMs. And I got actual blood work after doing SARMs. Yeah, bro, homie got... Fuck. Uh, I got yeah. Isaiah Miranda style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog eat him, bro. Yeah, literally. So then I got on test and Fuck Isaiah Miranda, by the way. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Glad we got that out of the way. Yeah. And then I got test and now here we are. I mean, I think everyone basically knows what I've taken up to this point. I you know, I got on test and then I switched over to DECA. Yeah. And now I'm on DECA. Yeah. And it's just much just overall much better. Like cleaner gains. Not dealing with, like, random shit that pops up, like, oh, all of a sudden my dick doesn't work, or, like, oh, all of a sudden my hair's falling out, or, like, my gyno's popping off. It's just, like, smooth Dude, I've noticed that keeping it simple, I've had the least amount of problems. I pin every day. Mm -hmm. So to to decrease hormonal fluctuation, I pin every day because it's more frequent, you know? you It makes sense, right? Seven days a week versus, like, three or four. So I pin every day, try to balance my estrogen that way I don't break out as much. And so as soon as I like not, honestly, like my skin has gotten like noticeably better since I stopped the DECA. It's like less than less inflamed and kind of now it's more like healing itself and shit. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you are going to go a natty, you need to do like you need to do your research. And especially if you're gyno prone or acne prone or hair loss prone. Do take the proper precautions mm-hmm. and do your research and like figure out how you're going to pin, how much you're going to pin each day, whether you're going to do every other day or every day or once a week. Right. And it's like, that's the shit that I didn't even know about at the time. I was just like, oh, fuck it. I'll pin like this day, this day. And like, it was just so bad. And that's when it was like, my acne was getting fucked. So you need to take the proper precautions for sure. Um, but I was going to ask Zach, cause it's been on my mind. Cause you were, you were prepping in school, right? Correct. Okay. And you're like, this is in school, school, not like online. You're yeah. On, I, you're was on off, I was you're on campus. I was on campus during okay. the entire prep. And so yeah. what school is this? This is Grand Valley State University. Okay. And so from a scale from one to 10, how many, how many fucking tens are there? Like how many rockets are there? Dude, honestly, like Planning I was making a visit out there, bro. <laughs> well, I might, I mean, I might have to go through his following and like start DMing him. <laughs> Actually, no. No more fucking flying. <laughs> yeah, no more no flying more. people out, bro. One night only. I'm going to have to install a lock on my door. Yeah. I was actually uh, disappointed by that because, like, I would go to these parties and stuff, and there'd always be, like, one rocket, right? Uh-huh. But then they're already cuffed up. My friend group was, like, a really, really handsome group of guys. Yeah. And there's always, like, either it was, like, a free-for-all. Like, everyone was kind of fighting over that one girl. Yeah. And, uh, I hate that. I'm like, dude, like, this is literally, like, a battle here. And, you know, the same kid would get with the same girl. Like, take all the rockets, man. Right. Were you were you bulked up or were you shredded, Zach? Dude, I was shredded. And it was kind of a party trick for me, too, actually. Damn. Yeah, I, could, I was totally about to say, like, dude, if I was shredded as fuck like you, I'd just, like, find an excuse, like, accidentally spill a beer. or Dude, yeah. I'm not 21, so spill, like, a beverage on my chest. 
Honestly, I talk about taking steroids. I can talk about drinking. So I like spill a beer on my chest and take off your shirt. Yeah. Like, dude. Oh, dude, my shirt's soaked. And then you just take it off your fucking dice. Well, yeah, they would always be, you know, sticking alcohol in my face. Oh, take a swig of this. Take a swig of oh, that. Oh, you can drink. That's right. Uh, no, no, I'm prep. You can't. Right, right, right. So um, basically, they would do that. And I'd be like, no, I'm on a, a competition diet right now. Yeah. And then they would have like no clue what that was. So then I'd have you to got like. fit shamed, bro. Yeah, I'd basically you get fit shamed. shamed? I w- to like, a degree. Bro, no, no, no. Like. If you're shredded as fuck and people are like, like they're literally like shoving their food in your face, like, oh, eat this, eat this, or they're like forcing you to drink. Like, oh, you're shaking your head. Have you ever experienced that, bro, from your friends? Yeah, I mean, it happens at college, dude, because like, I mean, I I go to High Point and like, dude, like, no one in North Carolina. Yeah, no one on campus, maybe like two dudes are into fitness. Yeah, dude. Like, I know no one. I can imagine because I've had, I've had, yeah, bro, I've had people be like, yo, um, well, they didn't call me Sush back then, but like, yo, Brandon, like, why don't you eat this? Why don't you drink this? And I'm like, bro, like I'm trying to like stay lean. Exactly. Yeah, they and don't then, understand that. And then it's like, oh fuck you, bro. Like, oh Mr. Muscle Guy or Mr. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, they think That's, you're like like crazy or something. Yeah, like. and it's almost like I don't know if I don't know if it's because they're jealous or if it's because they literally think I'm a fucking weirdo or both. Yeah. But it's like. Like, honestly, it's probably because they're jealous. They're like, oh, this guy thinks he's better than me because he's not drinking. That's exactly what they or think. Or he's not eating. Yeah, they want you to snoop down to, the, like, their level. And you know in the back of their heads, they kind of feel a little they bit. They want to do it. They're a like, little bit bad they're about. Like, I wish I, I wish I looked at him. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what they're, they're saying that in the back of their head. So they want you to, oh, take that one sip of alcohol. Just take that one bite of food. And if you're going to for a competition, you literally cannot. And they're like, oh, well, you're not going to lose your show if you take a bite of this. And. I'm like, well, that, yeah. it's not even like the point. That's I just exactly, have to stay disciplined. Dude. Exactly. It's so true. It's like, oh, one one bite of this candy bar isn't going to ruin your physique. And it's like, it's not the bite of the candy bar. It's it's a it's, mental like process right. of like, you have to of stay disciplined and say yes. no to literally everything. Dude, that is so fucking true. And it's like, and it's, it's almost just like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it, but it's like cheating it to yourself. You know, it's like, I don't want to do this because I yeah. yeah, you literally would feel, feel bad about that single bite of whatever pizza for like literally days. Like you, that's all you'll think about. Yeah, it's not about it's not about the actual bite. It's about the I don't even know feeling bad for cheating on it. Yeah, and it's like because I told myself I wasn't going to, and I'm doing this. Dude, we're talking about like right, right. like fit shaming, bro. Yeah. Well, I I was guilty of doing this to Hannah at first in the prep. Fucking dickhead, bro. <laughs> I didn't know it. I didn't really know about competing at all and she would message me and this is when prep was somewhat starting to get hard she'd be like oh i just want to eat this and that and this and that and i'm like oh can't you take like one cheat day or something like message your coach and then eventually i got the idea and i just kind of thought about it and she told me and it's like it's not just about one cheat day it's more about the moral like right why why would i cheat myself if i've set out to do this you know right. and people don't under normal people don't understand that like I'm, or not normal. I don't want to call normal people, people not normal, <laughs> non-fitness motherfuckers. So back to what I was gonna say, um, the party trick thing. Yeah. So basically, like my go-to party trick every single time I was at the party was. Hey, wait. James was in the bathroom. He was saying that uh, his him being so shredded was a party trick. It was because that's not a party trick. That's just a hack. <laughs> that's bro. just a hack. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally Wash here's my word. party trick. Yeah, bro. Bang. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, girls had like an infatuation with. For some reason, abs. So like every single girl does, yeah, bro. Yeah, if you have every abs, like you're girl. literally like the hottest guy in the room. I and don't care what anyone says. Dad bods are not more attractive than they. They like to abs. say that. They like to say that, but no, I swear to God, it's literally because they don't want to seem superficial. Yeah, no, and That's they the also don't want to be. They if they do think that, it's because they want to be the hot one. Yeah, I've said True. this on TikTok, and it triggered so many girls and, and so many people with dad bods. I'm exact. not. I'm not hating on people with dad bods. I'm just saying. It's if they truly do believe that it's because they don't want to they want to be the pretty one They want to have the upper hand in the relationship. They want to be the prettier one And if a girl wants to be the prettier one That's a red flag very but psycho blue button, please. I know There we go bitches, bro. <laughs> So I'm gonna let you get back to what you're saying But I just quickly wanted to say I don't like the fact that having an out-of-shape body is called a dad bod because I don't like the way that this could be a really long convo. I'm just going to keep it short. I don't like the way that fatherhood is portrayed in our current society, where it's like once you become a father, your life is over. 
and yeah. you can't have fun anymore and you're not like can't be shredded. Oh, you're you're just you're just like the Damn, provider for, for the family. What? Did I trigger you with the dad bod comment? <sighs> I'm not a dad, I hope. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm but you're you're kinda upset that there's like a there's such thing as a dad no, bod. No, no, no. Cause I would also call it a dad bod. Because okay. that's what it's known as. But it should be just known as a shitty out of shape bod. Frost frosting a, bag. A, the, the fact that dad Frost, is frosting bag. <laughs> The fact that dad is associated with just being lazy and out of shape and demotivated, I think is wrong. And I think there should be more of a pride associated with fatherhood. And you should actually pursue health and fitness if you are a dad. But anyway, party trick. Okay, finally, guys, the party trick. (laughs) I've been waiting to say this for like two times. Um, Anyways, I would always like lift up my shirt and then there'd be like seven girls like just coming around oh my god like freaking out and stuff and do they touch it yeah they'd all like they'd all rub like run their hands down it and all this stuff like that they love doing is that there shit, video bro. confirmation of this I, there's there be actually a is yeah, a video there has to be a i video. swear to god there has to be a video. <laughs> i need to figure out where Imagine it is Zach's gotta, that's the only time zach is happy on prep <laughs> <Is when laughs> seriously he, yeah is when he's got seven girls just fucking rubbing up on and his. he's just thinking Bro, I can't wait for my next fucking meal. <laughs> no, yeah. all of this no, right seriously, now. that's that's my only. Th- I didn't really care about girls on prep either. So at the time, your like, you hormones are probably fucked. So you're not. They were. Your sex drive isn't even that high. How many boners did you have during prep? So after during, like during peak week, five um, week. Actually, after um from being five weeks out, I literally like was not getting hard. You could, yeah, that's yeah, so damn. fucked, dude. It was really bad. I was. I, I just cared about food. Like that's all I wanted. And even when the girl gave me attention, I was like. Oh, well, cool. I just wish I had another meal. Yeah, yeah whatever. Like, you're nothing right now. <laughs> I hate to say it. Wait, okay, so party trick. <laughs> so, so you lifted up your shirt, seven seven girls. Yeah, they'd always come running up, and, like, they'd freak out, and it was, like, extremely superficial, right? But, like, at the same time, I was on prep, and, you know, I wanted a little ego boost, so I was like, 100%. let's just do it. No, dude, I get that. Yeah. For sure. Um, do you think that uh, – so you have obviously been bulked up, and you've also, also been fucking – Diced, bro. Correct. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that being diced and being fucking shredded has would get you more girls, or than being bulk? Dude, it is so key, weird. Because I feel like it probably doesn't matter. For, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I think every guy has in the back of their head that, well, if I'm not like shredded, like the girls aren't going to be into me and all this stuff. But I've noticed that every time I'm on my bulk, like girls don't even know this, like the body fat or anything. They're actually like really attracted to that figure. Mm-hmm. It's like I kind of look like a football player sometimes. Like, yeah, yeah. a lot it's of a muscle whole mass, different aesthetic. Yeah, a lot of muscle mass, a lot of fat with it. Yeah, and I think girls are really into that look. Like, you don't have to have like super shredded abs to uh, attract women or right. anything. Mm-hmm. They don't see it like guys do. Like, guys are going to be like, "Oh, you're pudgy as hell. You're carrying a little fat in your midsection. Um, your face is a little bit fatter." Girls don't look at guys yeah, like bro. that. Right. Like right now, obviously, I'm the biggest I've been in a while. Um, I think that. Uh, I mean, and you know, I've been getting more girls now than I have ever. And mm-hmm. it's like, well, one, because my confidence is up because, you know, I'm training, I'm on tests, whatever. Right. But now that I'm like bulked up, I feel like, and I've also been lean. And I feel like I've been, I've gotten more girls bulked up, whether or right. not it be, honestly, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I mean, I've been the same person. Like I haven't changed my personality. Mm-hmm. So maybe it is just because of like my confidence, but I, I don't think it really matters. Do you notice having more confidence on the shred or your bulk? Oh, for sure. When I'm shredded. Shredded? Like, more confident? I wasn't ever shredded. I want to make that clear. But when I was leaner, I uh, definitely had more confidence. Bro, like I remember I'd be, um, I was in Charleston, South Carolina. Shout out to any of those guys listening. We were at a college party and like I would have, I had, um, I don't know, I think I had two girls like take body shots off me. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And That's like crazy. I wasn't even that lean, but I was like the yeah. leanest guy there. Right, right, right. I was the le- So like you really don't have to be that lean as long as you're leaner than the other people around you. Yeah. Then you look fucking it's, sick. It's abs, bro. Right. It comes yeah. Down to having so abs. I had girls taking body shots off me. Like literally, like I'm pouring fucking vodka or I'm pouring whatever down here mm-hmm. and they're just like licking it off me and I wasn't That's even crazy. fucking, tri- I wasn't even diced. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's just abs, bro. I swear. So you're starting your cut pretty soon then. Yeah, like a end of April. But you're not gonna get you're not gonna get Zach yelling at his sister oh, to get no. out of the bathroom. I probably to try I it. probably will get like ten percent hopefully. Cause I was gonna say we can't uh we can't prep because you said maybe in the future you wanna do a show. Oh my god, I if already we know we prepped at the going. same time, bro. Uh, if I if I prepped 
If we prepped at the same time, bro, imagine us on, on okay, pressing drugs. You guys, oh, yeah, you guys, let's, yeah, you guys let's witness Zach, this Let shit. Let Zach and Joe I'm tell going the story to, of yeah. what happened, what they experienced oh, no. the second morning. <laughs> I'm just turning my mic away. The second morning that they came here. And th- granted, this was in the morning, okay? This is no anadrol, nothing. Yeah, no caffeine. No, <laughs> nothing. We were just chilling. Yeah. So I'm so just going to go go say it right now. You, you two idiots cannot do prep together. <laughs> There's zero chance. Dude. I will not let you guys do prep together because this is not happening. I Derek know. told us, bro. Yeah. yeah. He said, you guys will not have a friendship if you fucking prep uh, together. Yeah. That That is literally factual. And Joe, do you want to start off with like the story and everything of what happened that the yeah, second well, morning or was it the first morning? I think it was the second, second day. Second, second day. Y'all second were here. day, but first morning. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, so like, yo, so we're still like pretty. I mean, disclaimer: I've never met these guys before, so yeah. I was like, uh, yeah. I, I felt bad after, yeah, because yeah. I was like, hey, sorry I know. guys. <laughs> I apo- okay, let the tell it, let the tell it. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I've talked to like Sushi a good bit before, but I've never really talked to James before, so I was yeah. like, I don't know, I was kind of like new to the situation. So yeah. me and Zach were just sitting there. They just, I don't know, they started going <laughs> off on each other a little bit. Dude, I yeah. was looking at Zach the whole time. I knew we were like so kind of holding in the laughter a little bit so too at the same time because it was pretty stupid. Like to, yeah. to any outsider, it's like, oh my god, this is so stupid. But to us, we're like, bro, fuck you. <laughs> All right, we need the replay of the story of what yeah, made you guys so, triggered. So go it ahead. started. No, it started with me getting triggered at technology mm-hmm. yeah. because for some reason I <laughs> fucking hate when. I give input to a machine and it doesn't respond <laughs> because I'm like, you are built to respond to me. Yeah. Fucking respond. So I get irrationally mad. So I'm over here. Sush needs his SD card because he's transferring clips to Madrid. Yeah. And he's in Chicago, by the way. Wait, let's, let's start it with what, what did you throw like a hundred miles per hour across oh, the room? That was my own. That was my own. Yeah. Adapter so this started this, out with it's that. It's still over there. <laughs> it's still over there too. Yeah, it was his. Ad- uh, okay. Um, I didn't yeah. throw it at a hundred miles an hour, but Dude, I just no, kind of no, tossed no. it. You're I was like, like no, fuck you're, this you're thing. He smashed the table. He's like, <laughs> what the fuck? And he just threw <laughs> okay, it across so, the room. So anyway, so he needed his clips, but I needed a clip cause I needed to make an Instagram post within like 20 minutes. Cause it was pretty late at that point. So he reluctantly gave me the SD card. He's like, get what clip you need off it. So I'm trying to get the clip off and it's like halfway transferring off the card. And then the card just disconnects because the adapter didn't work. And this is like, the reason I got so mad is because this is like the fifth time it's happened where it's something important. And then all of a sudden it just stops transferring. And I just got, I was just like, fuck this thing. And I was also I was extra mad because I knew Sush was waiting on me, and oh, I knew it. I knew it wasn't yeah. my fault. So uh-huh. I'm like, "Fuck this!" Guy. You're now like, Sush, "Sush is gonna be mad at me." Now but it's Sush not my is fault. gonna be mad, but it's with a fucking adapter. So I just took the adapter and I fucking threw it on the ground. I'm like, "Fuck this thing!" And that's then, when I said, "Yo," and can then you relax? Sush, Sush was like, "Bro, chill." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm like, bro, it's the fucking adapter." And then, but I was like, "Whatever." So I just grabbed his adapter, and he and he kind of still prodded, and he's like. Bro, just like relax anyway. And I, and if you're if you get mad and then you relax and then someone tells you to relax again, you get mad again. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh the reverse God. process. Yeah. So anyway, we just start going back and forth and back and forth bickering. And oh, I don't even remember what no, I don't, what I, what I think progressed I, it, but oh, I, bro, oh bro, I was, bro, yeah, I was like you're like you're not getting this SD back. Yeah, I was like, bro, if you keep being a dick, I'm just not going to give you this fucking SD back. Because in my mind, I was like, okay, Madrid needs the clips by today because he needs to post tomorrow. I need the clips right now. So this is time sensitive, right? And he and he's like, bro, fuck you. This is my SD card, right? So hmm. I'm just like, I'm not going to give you it back. And he's like, bro, I'm going to go ape shit. And then, I, no, I was like, I'll t- I'm going to take it from you, bro. Yeah. And, I, and like, I'm, like, I'm like, how? How? He's like, bro. I'll do it. And then, <laughs> yeah, we just, we, and then we kinda just We bucked up. Then you literally say, like, oh bro, I'm gonna, literally gonna beat your ass if you don't no, give it. Yeah, I think I no, said it was just I like, think I'm I think, gonna take it from you, which means I'm gonna like, physically bro, take I'm it. Gonna yeah. physically and take I it. and and we, at that we, point I was like, Oh yeah? But then and something in my head was like, let's just go to the room. Cause at that point it was getting to the point where I felt bad for you guys, right? So we just went to the room and as yeah, soon you guys as are like you guys were holding in your laps. Yeah. No, I wasn't even, I was just well, like I'm like what the hell is going on? Like yeah, I've yeah, never heard a this, fight this like this. This is the stupidest thing ever, right? Yeah. So I just went to the room and we were both like bro, I'm sorry. I'm like here's your card, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. He's like, "Bro, I feel so bad." Bro, and no we, joke. I, I fucking cried, bro. I literally started Did you tearing cry up. There? Yeah. No. Uh, well, I, I was tearing up. I was tearing up. Well, yeah. I was because I was so mad, but this is also my friend, so it's like this contradictory thing. 
and we literally just hugged. Like we were so mad. And then as soon as we stepped into the room within five seconds, we were hugging. And I was like, bro, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to get so mad. And he's like, bro, I'm sorry too. We just hugged it out in literally <laughs> what? 20, 30 seconds yeah, yeah. later, we and walked then back out. He walked back and out and these like, guys were like best friends. I'm like, was this like stage <laughs> yeah, or dude, something? I like, was, dude, it I looked was, like that was like a play. Like you guys literally reenacted the something. Like, I was like, holy dude, smokes. I was in the room and I was like, sh- my legs were shaking. Cause when I get really angry, it really, yeah, was, it's just the nerves. Yeah, you're just dude, like, sh- you're just like, like so it, ready. Whenever I get like, at white, I used to like, when I would get in a fight, my, mm-hmm. I would, everything was shaking yeah. bro, because you were so fucking like ready yeah. to go. And so I was like shaking and I was like tearing up. I'm like, bro, like what the fuck? Like, right. Like, and it's not, like, it's gross. not tearing up. Cause like, you're sad. You're just like, there's Emotions, just so much. Dude. Like, mm, it got that, and that's know? the thing when you're on, when you're on super physiological amounts of fucking <laughs> testosterone, it's like, or uh, for my case, it's testosterone. Deca, Deca, yeah. yeah. If you're already, we're both naturally not aggressive, but just like emotional intense and just like dominant assertive that you're not going to become a dickhead if you're not a dickhead, but if you're already kind of assertive and just dominant, it's going to make that feeling get way stronger. So then it's just like you try and like one up each other and you know, yeah. It can, oh, yeah. It and can it's get like, bad. it's like, bro, when, um, Fuck, I honestly totally just forgot what I said. <laughs> train of thought just... When you when you used to get into fights? Is that what you No, mean? I oh. think I was just going to say, like, honestly, just, like, the gear and stuff. I don't know. I do respect n- neither of you back down from each other. You guys are both, like, We're both ready heads. to go, but also at the same time, like, what I don't really do? see, I don't I don't really see anything that he could do short of, like, killing my fucking dog. Yeah. Or I'm actually going to, like, punch this guy. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to oh, yeah. get really mad. But you saw when we, like, got in each other's face, it's like, okay, neither one of us actually... You guys, yeah, you guys calm yeah. down. It's like, bro, it's like, bro, what am I going to do if I swing on him? He's just going <laughs> to yeah. fucking, like, tackle me to the ground. It's <laughs> terrible. But, yeah. but, like, when we were in there, like, you guys were probably, what, like, looking at each other, like... Well, we were actually like dead silent and then yeah. we started looking at each other and then we lost it. We started laughing so hard. Yeah. Oh damn, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, you guys were in the room. Well, yeah, you were probably making up. you were probably trying to like keep it quiet, but you were like, Yeah, what the fuck was then that? Then I looked yeah. at him. I had never seen Riser laugh that fucking hard. It was so funny. <laughs> Dude, he was literally like tears coming down his yeah, eyes. Bro. Holy <sighs> shit. Yeah, because when you look back on it when you're not in that aggressive mindset, it's like, bro, that's it's so funny. Dumb. It's funny how dumb it is, but at the time it's like so serious. But yeah, it's crazy. And that's, I think, I don't know, that's probably part of the reason that me and Sushu just live together so well without really knowing each other is we're going to get mad at each other like anyone else will, but it's our ability to go from being literally at each other's throats to just literally hugging each other yeah. within 10 seconds. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, We were talking about this earlier. I'm just going to totally segue into another topic. We were talking about this earlier, bro. <laughs> you... Our big because our backs have been hurting from deadlifts, and you're a big activist for massages, right? Correct. Uh-oh. Like what? Uh-oh. We're talking like twice a week, right? Or no? What, what was it? Once every two weeks? Yeah, it was once every two weeks. You don't do it now, or was it just for prep? Like just kind of help you relax? This was more so, yeah, like for prep and stuff. I would go in and get like you know a quick uh, massage after my chiropractor appointment, right? Just so like you know relieve some stress, and it felt good. I got the full body massages. Uh huh. And uh, where's this going? Well, I was going to say, bro, because I used to, yeah, because I used to get, dude, I can't get massages, bro, because every single time I've had, I've gotten a massage, I low key, like, okay, I've never gotten a massage from a guy, but it's from a girl. And when they flip me on my front and they, and they start hitting your back and your, and your back, your hamstrings, bro, low key. And like, I'm like kind of rubbing up on the table because I'm right. like, my stomach's on it, right? <laughs> I'm rubbing up on the table and like people are massaging me. I'm like, yo, low key, I kind of have a boner. <laughs> and then once they hit you on your, while you're on your front, they flip you over. They say, okay, yeah. lay on your back. Bro, and then at that point, I've got a fucking six inch tent. <laughs> like, like, I'm like, bro, what do I do? And it's like totally awkward because you know they see it. It's like dark in there, but you know they mm-hmm. see it. Cause it's like a white tablecloth, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, it's the thinnest little linen that they drape over you. <laughs> and what what sucks just for start me wearing compression is compression underwear. Oh my Dude, God. you guys know that sometimes random boners happen at the worst times. Like there's that meme of like having to present in front of the class or whatever, and you got a random boner, right? Oh, I got those all the time. I remember yeah. those. So, I don't get them anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I don't really get them too much anymore. But yeah, when you're on the table and you're on your front your dick is getting like pressed (laughs) into the table right so 
And that shit just and, be feeling and, and you're good, also bro. you're just or you're not even really thinking about it, but your body just like biologically is gonna be like, Are we fucking? So you're gonna be like <laughs> yeah. you, and you're like chilled and relaxed and the endorphins are flowing and your dick's <laughs> getting pressed against the it table. You're not gonna growing. get yeah, you're not gonna get like rock hard, but there's there's gonna be a half chop, right? <laughs> I used to go to a massage therapist. It was this big, burly black dude <laughs> that was like a bodybuilder. Like, <laughs> Where's this going, guys? Happy ending massage? Happy AKA ending. not a girl. <laughs> and, and, bro, I he, think... He like, just knew the spots, huh? <laughs> You're just good. He probably... There were definitely times where I'm just like, oh, fuck it. And I just had to flip over, but... Obviously, he's not going to be like, oh, bro, you got a boner, bro, you're gay. <laughs> he's probably seen it all the time. Yeah, he probably, that, and that's what I would think to myself is, all right, this guy spends his whole day, like, pushing on people. This probably is not the first time he's seen this, right? But still, it's just so awkward. And there were times where I felt like being like, bro, it's not you, I promise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like you almost want to address it. But then you don't. Yeah, because it's, it's like so obvious. It it's yeah. like, it's okay, like, like clearly you're seeing that shit. Yeah, it's like, is there even a point? In yeah, it makes it worse to even address it in the first yeah. place. And I, so, dude, a funny story. I have, I was getting a physical, and you guys know how they have to check your balls. Oh, you God, cough. please don't tell me you got one. Oh, no, no, dude, oh, no. bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, oh, no. so, but I've only oh, had no. female. Oh, female. No. <laughs> so, I'm waiting in the room, bro, and I don't know what it was. It could have been because um, the gear that I was on, because this is actually, like, pretty recent, probably, like, four or five months ago. It was in Houston. And so I'm getting this physical and I know, I know that she's going to have to do it because she had stepped out of the room. She's like, okay, I'm going to like come back. And like, so you, you're, you're, you're and sitting I'm there waiting to get, for your balls no, to be no, touched. No, no, bro. I'm, I'm sitting there and I start to feel the, the bones. Oh keep. yeah. Yeah. Oh, the oh blood you know rushing what, bro? Down. Because I fucking, I'm like thinking about it now. I was taking Cialis. Cialis. Morning, yeah. Bro. Yeah. So I'm starting to feel it and I'm like, oh my fuck, dude, I am so fucked. <laughs> and so she like comes back and I'm like, holy shit. So I'm at this point, I'm probably like half chubbed. And I'm like, damn, this is it, bro. I am so fucked. And so mm. I pull down my pants and like, it's pretty obvious. It's not like a full, full blown, but, but it's like, got some blood in there. Yeah. <laughs> dude. And I just, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to. Yeah. But dude, you I just, was just you like, just got to be telling yourself she's a doctor. She's seen this shit. Yeah. She bro. knows it's not her fault. Like she knows this is just like normal and but, natural. But right? low key in the back of my head, because I'm fucking always horny. I'm like. Yo, imagine if she just like, was like I'll help you out, <laughs> like like the porns, bro. She's like, <laughs> she's like, don't worry about it. I'll help you out. And then it's just, you know, I actually have a funny story about that. Um, it was oh, over this the guy fucked a doctor. Oh, oh, no, 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 not like that next level. But anyways, uh, I was getting like you know my balls checked this summer. Yeah, and uh, the doctor she had like a medical student. And I didn't really. Oh, she had to been bad because they're yeah, always I didn't bad. know like I didn't know like they're I, always bad. Yo, shout out my medical <laughs> students out there. Okay, so I didn't know. I'm like, okay, this is going to be like someone that's like 30 or something, like 25. I didn't really think about it. Yeah. Out of nowhere, this like dime comes in the room. Probably 25. And not only is she a dime, she looks like she could be like my peer. So like right. it looks literally like at the time I was 19, it looks like another 19-year-old female <laughs> about to come give me a physical. So, dude, literally like, yeah, I pulled down my pants and like, thank God it was like a warm day. <laughs> because like I was actually kind of packing, and yeah. I just I remember Mommy I had just fell sand on for a while. I low key like I, I was like looking around right before. Yeah, I was looking around. I'm like, like hopefully she's like you know acknowledging, and then I'm like <laughs> she's mirroring the yeah, cock. She's mirroring. Yeah, need you. You have your pants down. You look at it, yo. You seeing this shit? Like, what are we about to do? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just sitting there, hands on the hip, smiling. Yeah. And then, no, they're like they check it, and I always laugh. I, do you guys laugh when they do it or no? Like it's always like fuck. No, like, dude, that's kind of weird. <laughs> no, dude, it, it's like yeah. weird. It's like awkward it's, as hell. Uh, I don't well, know they ask you to one. cough. They ask you. Yeah, to they, cough. they ask you to yeah. cough. They like cough. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, when I cough or when I sneeze, oh. my my PC muscle contracts and my dick does the thing where yeah. it like flips up. Uh -huh. Imagine you did that; your pants are down, you cough, and your dick you cough, and off. then you started like giggling, and then it's like doo -doo -doo. <laughs> that'd be so funny, bro. Imagine she she turns after examining it, and she's like, "Okay, write micro penis on, yeah, the, yeah. on the notes." <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like MP. And you're like, oh, what is it? What does that say for? I'm like actually interested in like doctoring or whatever. And she's like, oh, it's a micro penis. Uh, but yeah, so did you end up like like maybe getting her snap or something? No, I did not get the snap, fortunately. Oh, dude, yeah. damn. You're yeah. gonna have to go through the medical records on that one. Go find her. <laughs> Seriously, you imagine you end up getting physicals like every week. Yeah, <laughs> like, trying to find the same. Yeah, uh, so there's something wrong with me. Can you check me again? I'm just gonna get. <laughs> Check for cancerous lumps every week. <laughs> Dude, Loki, have you guys ever done that? Like, 
Okay, I'm not even no. gonna lie. So, no, 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 no. I'm saying like, have you ever gone to the same place at the same time to try to look for the same girl? No. Maybe it's the gym because I would go to the gym and I'd be like looking for this. You're for next this. level horny, bro. <laughs> Wait, so you go at like you purposely go at the same time? Pur- purposely go at the same time or purposely go at a different time to see if I can catch her at a different time? Okay. Because like yeah. I, I would like after like three days, I I'm picturing this girl. There's no way she's watching it, but dude, she's so fucking hot. She's got like the fattest ass. So she, <laughs> like blonde, she would wear the hat, which by the way, mm, the hat is yeah. so hot. Um, I would go to the gym and then she would be here at this time. So then the next three days, three or four days, I would go at the same time at that time. And then I was like, where the fuck is she? So then I would switch it up and like totally just go in the morning and then mm. I'd see her. I'm like, oh, maybe. I ended up talking to her, but she had a fucking boyfriend. She's fucking mm. square. But... <laughs> I mean, I would probably think to myself, oh, I wonder if that girl's going to be there at the same time. But it was never enough to motivate me to change my shitty schedule because I'd always Mm. be going to the gym late. And like, no matter how hot the girl was, I just could not motivate myself to get to the gym earlier than like 8 p.m. I can I can definitely see that. Yeah, we always like me and Rise are always waiting to go to the gym and. James is like, okay, in 30 minutes, we're going to take pre. I'm telling <laughs> you guys, bro, it is James. He is the one who always makes- You were sleeping, bro. No, yeah, I was ready but, to yeah, take but pre. Then, but then you like woke me up. Well, today I was fucking tired, but- So dude, anyways, yeah. No, so- Dude well, was unconscious. Yeah, bro. But um, I do want to say, because I, I got her I got her Instagram, I got her Snap too, and I figured out she had a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. But um, have like, do you- I don't think we talked about this on the podcast, like- Cause I hit her with the "Do you compete?" line, and that was when "Do you compete?" was unknown. Was unknown before mm-hmm. I put it on the map. Which Loki, I do trademark that "Do you compete?" was my best pickup line, and I and I showed it to you guys, yeah. and like now it that actually works. And I get DMs from girls who follow me are like, "I've been asked, do you compete three mm-hmm. times this week from three really? people?" I swear to God, bro, Good they'll shit. DM me and they're like, "Yeah, I've been asked this." So you guys have to chill with the "Do you compete?" We got to figure out a new one. <laughs> but like, like, what was your guys? Have you guys ever approached girls in the gym? I have not, no. You've never approached a girl in the gym? No. Nah, never felt the need to, honestly. Why? They're not they're not hot enough for you? Nah, dude. There's not really any hot girls like in my town. Ooh, I live in the small ass town. And I damn, trained at like bro. a YMCA until I was like 17 or 18. Uh, so it was just like a bunch of old heads or like yeah. middle schoolers. But Loki, back at my hometown, dude, YM, the YMCA was popping, bro. Must be nice, bro. Yeah, pretty, really? pretty wow. girls. But my hometown also does have a lot of pretty girls. Shout out. Pretty girls in my hometown. <laughs> 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 But what about you? Well, honestly, like I've always thought about it, but then I'm like, I have two sisters that go to the gym all the time and they always have stories of like the creepiest dude just mm. like well, coming up. don't be creepy up. about but it, you're bro. Not, you're not a creepy no, but dude. Even you're like, a strapping young man. I know, but I just don't want to be that guy that's like trying to get everyone snap at the gym. You know, like wow, these girls go. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, dude. He's outing me right now. <laughs> they, no, they go, there, they go there for the same purpose as you do to get like a crazy good workout and they got their headphones on. I'm sure they're all in like their fields with the music and everything trying to get a good pump. So, like, when you distract their workout um, and just, like, ask for their snap and stuff, that's kind of throwing them off. And I've always wanted to, like, respect people's workouts, so I've never really been one to approach in the gym. But if I see, like, a cute girl in the gym, I'm definitely, there's definitely a chance I'm going to go fishing around for her, like, IG. And then I'll send her, like, a direct message saying, you know, uh, let's, like, hang out and stuff. I'm not going to be, like, what's your snap? I'll literally just ask if we can hang out. I'm going to be honest. I don't think... I think that is the worst thing to do, bro. Is it really? I think that seeing, because they'll notice, they're like, bro, didn't I just see this guy at the gym and now oh, he's DMing me? Yeah, because yeah. I've had girls tell me, it's so weird. They won't talk to me at the gym and then they'll follow me and like my pics right, after. Right, right. Yeah, that shit like, is weird. I've seen that too. I've noticed that before. Yeah, so I think and guys- it's like, oh, I recognize you. That's fucking weird. Yeah, don't do that, guys. I promise don't you do it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, did it work for you? Did you end up like- Honestly, yeah, a few times it did. Okay. So well, maybe I'm not, like, I'm not a creepy person, so like it honestly no, worked well, good. For well, you, it's okay. different because you have 30K or 40K on, I, and, on and IG. Also, so it's different when you follow them on a fucking big account. Well, that's true. And also- if you say if you have a big account and you're clearly like a thick guy, you can work it the right way and be like, "I thought you were really attractive, but I didn't want to interrupt your workout and come that, off exactly. as the That's respectful what I do. type, you right. know." And then just be like, "Oh, but I've like seen your IG before it's on my explore page or whatever," and just don't. I've, the fact I've done that, that one through the fucking location bro, and like found their post. Bro, I've done that one. Is is well? Um, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> You've done the like, explore page? Yeah, no, 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 no fucking way. I found another explore page, bro. She's a small account. So James had shown me this girl's account, and um, well, yeah, you did. 
Well, but dude, I lied. I lied through my teeth to Hannah. Yeah. Because she asked me about it afterwards. She was, because it was, can I say, I won't say the name. No, but yeah, I don't it, care. It was, one of, it was one of Hannah's friends. Yeah. And she texted me after and she's like, did you, did Sush actually find so-and-so's IG on Explorer? And I knew if I said yes, she was going to go tell her friend that. And I was looking out for my boy. So yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I think it was probably recommended. Yeah, like because I follow friends. you. Yeah, yeah you know, Dude, it's, it's just so like- cap. He had shown me this girl's IG. I was like, bro, this girl's fucking insane. So I DM'd her and I hit her with the. Sorry, hey. Hannah. Yeah, we're sorry. I DM'd her. I was like, hey, hey, like I saw you on my Explore page. I think you're really cute. I saw that like you're friends with Hannah. We should definitely like get you out to Texas or whatever. And like that was that's how it started. I got her snap or whatever. I think maybe I'd probably hang out with her pretty soon. But yeah, isn't like the explore page thing low key works, <laughs> but now she knows we just, we just outed ourselves, bro. Now any girls who watch this, they're, they're going to know. Yeah, but I'm helping out these guys, these young guys. It's well, like you, you hit them with the, oh, I saw you on the explore page, but the, yeah. I mean, that's such cap, dude. Now they got, do you compete? And I saw you on explore. <laughs> yeah. But also I just want to say like, you can or approach a girl you. at the gym and you you don't have to interrupt her workout unless she's one of those people that comes in and trains for 30 minutes and it's just non-stop bang 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 superset superset hit most yeah most girls are going to come in and they're at least going to rest a few minutes in between sets and you just casually start working out near them and then you you wait for them to be resting and then you make some sort of joke and then you judge their reaction and if they seem interested and their eyes light up then bang go go for it yeah you know? what, what i remember do you remember when we were doing that leg day and I was like, bro, do you see this girl? She actually ended up being like seven weeks out. Yeah. Okay. So she was fucking insane. And, um, you know, I, I saw her like, I think she knew she might've seen, she actually might've seen me on explore or something. Cause she was kind of like, her eyes were kind of drawn towards us. She was like, do I know these guys? Probably something like mm -hmm. that. Or we were just really good looking that day. And probably that. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I'm, you know, purposely training around her trying to get the vibe and so she hops on the treadmill and so that's where that comes in is like she hasn't started her cardio yet at all she's literally like getting set up on the treadmill i fucking literally jogged over to her and made sure she see me jog over to her because it's like oh he waited till i was on the treadmill mm. so i literally jogged over and i was like yo before you start your this is literally what i said before i start your cardio i thought you were really like you looked really insane i would love to get your instagram we'll get a, tr we'll get a session mm -hmm. and so that's how that and that that's how Did that ever did that progress? Because that was um, she, I think a she's micro married, success bro. story. Oh, I think shit. she's married. There you yeah, go. Because she has pics of like a, uh, like a handsome young lad, like 25-ish. Mm, so mm. she's definitely taken. But yeah, so that didn't come up anything. But hey, man, you like that's better than a no. It is better than a no. And at the end of the day, a no is the worst that you're going to get, guys. So And she was really nice, too. Mm -hmm. No. So. But Joe, what about, because uh, you're the only one. Well, we already know James is booed up. But what about your girl? What's she like? Uh, I mean, dude, she's great. Like, she's, like, just as much into fitness as I am. I mean, she trains, like, six times a week. We actually train together all the time. Yeah, I and, see on uh, your IG, she's got fucking massive legs. Yeah, dude, she's strong as shit. Uh, like, she rack pulls, like, 315 for reps. Uh, she hardly mm. squats, though, because, like, she's had, like, three knee surgeries. So, like, her knees are kind of, like, uh, get Find her a masseuse. Uh, yeah, honestly. <laughs> nah, at that point, you need, you need a knee replacement at that point, because I can already tell my left knee's fuckity. Yeah. I'm going to need one down the road. But, I mean, she hardly squats, but, like, dude, like, we were squatting one day, and, like, she squatted, like, 225 for reps after not squatting for, like, over, like, two months or something. It's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty good. But, I mean, yeah, we train together, like, six times a week. I mean, we push each other, like, hard as shit. And, like, we're, like, again, like, the only, like, fitness kind of people, fit, like, well, on campus. Well, dude, you guys are probably rocking, walking around, like, fucking kings, like, oh, yeah. king, queen, fit yeah. couple on, on High Point University. Yeah, <laughs> 100%. I mean, like, we're pretty much like the only people on there that work out like that so like everyone kind of like knows who we are pretty much yeah and that's pretty sick because she's trying to start her fitness instagram yeah and i mean like definitely being with me i give her a little bit of clout so yeah it's always nice everyone's everyone's gaining from it and you get some like dope photos she's i got her you got her in the young la and shit like yeah that. so mm -hmm. it definitely helps me out too 100 percent. dude should we talk about what we were talking about the other day <laughs> we were uh yeah. so joe and i uh james and zach i don't think you guys have experienced this but joe and i were talking about um like a little like butthole like play <laughs> and i'm not talking for the girl wait when did you experience this bro i was telling you that i literally just recently i had somebody ah uh, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so is that i want to know like what is because joe you have some experience with it as well yeah. and we know somebody who has experience with them that we're not going to out them <laughs> but 
Like, do you think that's like sus, bro? Because well, you so your argument. So okay, guys, what we're I'll, talking, I'll, what we're I'll, talking I'll, about I'll give, is I'll give my argument. What we're talking about is play. butthole play. So whether like <laughs> to she's, the guy, to yeah, the guy. whether she's like, um, you know, giving you head or whatever, and she's like playing with your butt, or you're honestly just chilling and she's kind of playing with it. And we're not talking about her butt. We're talking about like butthole. Um, yeah. I haven't had like a finger in it, like actually in it, but I had like it was kind of like rubbing around. Mm-hmm. And dude, like no fucking joke, like no shame. I don't give a fuck. Mom, obviously. if you're watching the podcast, <laughs> yeah, yo, right yeah, now. everyone, this, please, is, this, the is the, this is the cutting point yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay? But if you ever like are into that and like don't be ashamed, bro, low key, because obviously you guys know I don't give a fuck, but that shit low key felt good. Actually, high key felt good. Like, <laughs> yeah, I get agree r- with Stu's on that one. Rub my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Spam up, rub my butthole in the comments. <laughs> But yeah, you, you're, this, we were this talking. This vid's gonna get taken down. YouTube's algorithm is gonna be like, why is everyone commenting? Rub my butthole, <laughs> rub my butthole. But yeah, you were saying that you were into that too, right? Yeah, dude. Like, well, I mean, like, I've never like done anything like that, like ever, until like I don't even know, probably like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Oh, this was a recent thing. Yeah, yeah. dumb recent. Right. Okay. And it just like kind of happened out of nowhere. Like, I mean, obviously, I don't want that shit. Like when we're just like chilling. Yeah. Like only like during sex and stuff. Yeah. But then like, like <laughs> obviously. Obviously, <laughs> when you're not chilling, you're walking around the kitchen making food, your girl comes up, shoves yeah, one up no. there. Yeah. But but dude, I totally like bro, it was totally I got totally caught off guard, but I was exactly. like I was like, yo, this low key feels gas. Yeah. And like I used to see like Adam twenty two like getting his ass eat ass eaten by like Lena the Plug, if you guys know who that is. And I was like I was like, bro, like this there's no way that I would ever do that. But like, bro. I'm doing it now. What do you? What well, do you Zach, I, I want to hear Zach's thoughts first. You let her, unless you want to hear my and thoughts first. I do feel bad for the girl because I don't shave my butthole. I don't either, so <laughs> no. I apologize. I, uh, personally, like that's just not my cup of tea. Uh, have you tried it though? I've had like like uh, my ex girlfriend in the past would like she would try to, like you know like put, even like touch my ass and I would literally smack it away or like clench my nah, butt cheeks dude, super hard. You can't knock it if you haven't tried it. Dude, I don't know. It was just so uncomfortable. It felt sus. Like, even though it was a girl that was doing it, I just, and I just, just it, it would not let think, her do it. I it think we probably have the exact same thoughts and I'll, I'll articulate them. So, <laughs> I've had girls do that as a joke. Girls that I'm close with, obviously. Yeah. Um, do it as a joke, like not during sex. And that's funny, you know? And obviously, I'm going to like push their hand away, but I'm not going to be like, yo, chill. Like, that's gay. Stop that, you know, <laughs> but obviously I'm not going to be like, Ooh, do it again. <laughs> That's how I was, bro. I was literally she was like, like she was more. fucking around. She was fucking around. And I was like, yo, do it. I was like, do it again. And the like, reason, let me make sure I feel what I just felt. The reason is because, um, I like, and this is just personal preference, but I like to tend to be the more dominant one, obviously as a guy and especially with smaller girls, I just, it's much more enjoyable to assume that role and like fulfill that role to its fullest and getting fingered in the butt by a girl, especially a smaller, more submissive one is total change of roles and it feels, it feels deeply wrong. And that's the only way I can put it. And it's not, hold, hold on, let me finish. It's not like a conscious thing where I'm like, oh, if, if the boys found out, they'd think I was so gay, right? That's not what's going through my head. It's literally just that this, the roles in the bedroom are being reversed and it doesn't feel right. And I just don't want to be the submissive one in that sense. Like there's a difference between being, <laughs> being like playfully submissive in the moment versus submitting yourself to a girl's finger in your ass or even in that area. Like, and I was saying this to you, I would rather get something, mom, if you're still watching, please, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> Let's the fuck off. I'm serious. <laughs> I would rather get something like a, a vibrating butt plug for myself and insert it myself before sex than, rather than, than have a girl put it in for me or put a finger in or eat it or anything like that. And I wouldn't even be opposed to the whole butt plug idea. but Because there is a cause G spot, the, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the male prostate. Yeah, Correct. the male G spot is the prostate. Yeah, and um, I mean that shit sounds gas. But I'd have to, I'd go in the bathroom, and I'd insert it, and then I'd come yeah. back out. And low key, I would rather not have it. I be think, a machine though. But I think, yeah. yeah. But machines are designed for pleasure. Because <laughs> I think, I think also it would be good for her because if it's vibrating your whole shit down there, it would also 
kind of make your dick vibrate. That's she's true. Definitely never felt before. Maybe to the slightest bit. Yeah, probably. It wouldn't be that much. Depends That's on true. how much you crank that shit up. Yeah. Like, bro, think about the wand. <laughs> think about the wand. Does it really? Like, oh, I feel. I feel the wand. Oh, you do. I feel the wand on my dick. Yeah. Oh, I bet that feels when insane. She's using it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I because I still haven't figured out how to use the wand and action and. And while uh, while having while sex, having bro, you sex. gotta figure that out. I'm it's gonna, hard, dude. I, it's bro, fucking hard. We I'll, need a crash I'll, course. I'll, I'll, have Zach, I'll have Zach. go on the bed and I'll hold him up yeah. and show you how to do it. We actually <laughs> just showed, we actually just showed uh, Zach and Joe um, the wand collection, or not the wand collection, but we showed him the wand the other day. That was the first time you saw it, right? Very impressive. Yeah, yeah it's nice. fucking nutty. So I'm not saying that like you guys have used it, but I'm saying like it's, from what you can tell, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's uh, it looks really powerful. I mean, I've, I've used like the little ones before, but like that yeah. thing is like next level. Yeah, I think the next level after that, something I actually want to try. You know that, <laughs> you know that TikTok trend where people would like tap and then they tap faster and then they'd put the Theragun on their hand. Yeah, but you couldn't see it, so it looked like they were vibrating. Imagine putting your fingers I, no, in bro, a girl I tried. And, oh, you tried it? Did I it work? tried, but I couldn't fucking do it, bro, because my hand would hurt. Like, when you put that Theragun on your bone, that fucking hurts. Well, on the bone, yeah. No, I'm saying on the meat of your hand. Oh, no, but... Because look, bro, like, when bro, I... Bro, trust when, me. Look, look at that. When I squeeze my hand, it makes my fingers move. No, I know, but... So if it's on my hand... But trust me, bro. After, like, five minutes of just Theragun into your palm, it hurts. Like, I was doing... I was trying to make it work, bro. Trust me. I was doing everything I possibly could. It hurts. Okay, well, if nothing happened after five minutes, I'd probably call it quits and say this isn't working. Okay, maybe, yeah, you know? for sure. But maybe I'm over exaggerating. Definitely not five minutes, dude, but like, yeah, th- like I, it was probably I, 30 seconds. I was like, dude, I can't. I feel like if if that idea worked, it would work within like a minute. It either works or it doesn't. And yeah. if it doesn't work after a minute, she's probably not going to. Are you, you know? guys into kinky stuff? Yeah, I would say for sure. <laughs> Zach's like, yeah, bro. <laughs> Riser. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> yeah. Well, the butt hope thing's pretty kinky. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's really kinky. That's very kinky. Mm. You know. Suck, suck him. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that. Okay, I was gonna say something really bad, but like, what do you think the most kinky thing you've done is? Ah, oh, damn. Ah, uh, that's a curveball, man. I haven't really thought about that one yet. <laughs> Have you ever had like such good sex that they've just fallen in love with you? Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. <laughs> like, like, like being absolute. Have you guys ever gotten like squirted on? Yeah, yeah. Like, like. But like a lot, like where you're just like drenched. I mean, yeah, no, not, not like not drenched. Because at that point, I'd be like, "Yo, are you peeing on me right <laughs> yeah, now?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, every time it's and this is actually what I like is every time she's a, a girl is squirted, it has been like a a little bit, but like a good amount, and then she usually gets embarrassed and she's like, "Oh wait, what? I like, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that." And I'm like, "Bitch, I'm the king right now. What do you <laughs> yeah, mean?" You know, exactly. They're embarrassed about it, and you're like, "Dude, I literally had to tell the the." The girl, she had never had, I'm not going to say her name, obviously. She had never had an orgasm in her life. And um, I was like, okay, we can change that for sure. So I was using the wand and she she had to, she didn't know what was happening because it was so intense and, and she, she'd never felt mm-hmm. that. Imagine even, the, even herself, like she had yeah, never, never, herself. never yeah. ever. And so she, and so this happens and she um, got uncomfortable. Yeah. She literally had to stop like three times and I was like. Like, this is normal. Just let it let happen, it happen yeah. right? And then so she finally let it happen. And she ended up, like, being, um, like, super wet where it's, like, you know how, like, they only say 7% of girls squirt or something? Or it's I like, think that's cap. Yeah. I think, I I, I think, I, every, I think girl, every girl has the potential to. It's just, like. The level of orgasm, maybe. Yeah. So, basically. yeah, she squirted and she was, like, holy shit. Like, that's never happened before. And I was, like, yeah, it's, like, what happens when you, when you finish? But then she, like, it was too intense for her where she didn't want to, like, do it again. Okay, I just want to say maybe it's not every girl, but I think more than 7% have the potential to, but it, maybe it's like 30, 40% have the potential to, but only 7% ever do it. Yeah. Because they just haven't been like stimulated. Well, I, I don't know what the difference between like, like cream, you know, cream. Yeah. And then ver- ver- versus like actual squirt. Bro, because I'm not going to lie. Weird. I have no idea what cream is. I just, when it happens, I'm like, whatever. Yeah, and it, it kind of like drips out. Like we were talking, that happened to me the other day, and you were talking about um, um, when it like literally dripped out of. of yeah. Yeah. Like, it, I don't know. I, don't I know. definitely know. Well, what you're that wasn't. About. Do you guys know? That wasn't the white cream. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. That was just the clear, like. 
Oh, okay. Wetness. Okay. But you know what cream, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I don't know if it's just a combination of, like, w- whether it be lube or. I don't know. I really, I can't lie. I don't know what it is. And I have been with girls that, unfortunately, I've had a yeast infection. And it looks pretty fucking similar. So oh. I don't know if. Does it mean yeast infection? Maybe it's been yeast infection. No, it doesn't mean yeast infection. Because I think, no, I think that there's, I think you can, I think girls can cream without having yeast infection. I'm just saying, I don't know what the percentage is because it looks pretty fucking similar. Mm, Interesting. (laughs) No, dude. (laughs) Sushi's questioning his whole existence (laughs) right now. Yeah, Loki, I'm like, yo, you're a yeast infection? (laughs) (laughs) Dexter? (laughs) Hey, just make sure you don't have a yeast infection. Uh, But... Dude, no, well, the thing is, is, like, because now I'm having all the, like, you know, with especially with you, you've helped me, like, so much, and, like, like, this guy's pretty much essentially my dad when it comes to, like, having sex, and, <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? No, it's funny, no, it's funny. I, I appreciate no, it. No, yeah, this guy's the way taught me so much, funny. <laughs> and so, like, I'm learning so much, as much as you guys are learning from this podcast, I'm also learning, so it's just, like, one big Well, journey. I do, I have to show you the magic wand thing, because that's game changer. Bro, you 100%. have, and I've tried it, I just... I would literally need a step stool or something. It could be. It honestly could be because of my. Because you height. have a you have a higher. My no no no. Like you'd need a step stool because your your mattress you have an extra box spring, so it might not line up pelvis wise. Yeah. So what we're talking about is, um, I'm gonna try to describe it without being too vile. Um, the the girl's on her back and you're uh the guy standing on the side of the bed and he's. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, he's got I'll arms. So, huh. it's Dude, we should we should do a master class. <laughs> yeah, would you guys want to see that on like Patreon? Magic so, wand movements. Wait, so I just want to clear something up right now because this is actually important. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm serious. Last <laughs> chance. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jeez, man. When you get hard, my my dick like looks at my face. Like I can look down and it's like looking up at me. Yeah. Well, not That's for your, me. Not for me. For you, it's straight. We've out. talked about. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mine's mine's more of a straight straight shooter. You're a straight shooter. It curves to the left a little I'm, bit. I'm definitely not like as extreme as that, but like there's definitely like a somewhat of like an up curve, but really, not yeah. like too That's, much. Mine's more of a just like a nice little curve to the left. Left. Yeah. Me, <laughs> me and Joe. Me and Joe are the left the left curve boys. Yo, oh, really? Shout I thought out you were left, straight yeah. shot. Shout out left curve boys. Yeah. No, mine doesn't curve to yeah. One side. Mine. It curves up and it also is just angled up. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. That's low key and answer. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the tricks for like a straight shooter. But there's. But I have. I can. I can. I can take some jabs at it. But at least with our dick shape, <laughs> if you there's some benefits for sure. If you well, there's more pros. Okay, listen. Than, than I'm there's gonna stand up. I'm gonna give you a little visual here <laughs> for all you guys out there. This should you definitely got the be the girl right here. She's on her back. She's got her legs, you know, up, like here's the thigh, knee comes out. And what you want to do, you want her to be a little lower than this. So you would normally have to like squat down to put it in. And you want to instead kind of hook yeah. her legs around your arms and lift her hips up. So that way, <laughs> dude, I hate using these terms. Her vaginal canal is angled like this. Because then the G spot's like right in front of you, Correct. and, and then you, then if you got the up angled dick, there's a ton of pressure like that, and it also exposes the clitoris <laughs> to the magic right. wand. And do you, bro, <laughs> do you realize? She, and then she uses it at the same time while you're obviously hitting the G spot, and that that's GG, boys. Yeah, AKA how to make a girl squirt. Yeah. Next topic. Do you wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, I was about to say, do you realize how much like we could be helping people right now because? Think I about, wasn't kidding about the master class. Bro, th- <laughs> <laughs> think about like all the, like the, the 16 or 17 year olds who are about to like start losing their virginity or maybe they're like thinking about it and they have a girl in mind and like think about when they pull one of these moves out of the fucking, out of their sleeve and it's like, maybe it's the girl's first time as well or maybe it's not and it's the guy's first time. Right. And then she's like, and yo, she's like, what yo, the we're, fuck? Yeah, like, that, no, but... Yeah, like we out. We really Go out on. here, man. Like helping these, helping these young bucks. Yeah. You know, get a little, get some dubs out there. Just make sure they don't fall in love, because you know that type of shit happens. Unless you really want them to. You yeah, know? that's true. Then, then hit them with the move I just showed you. Yeah, <laughs> but make sure you bring the wand along, bro. Have you ever heard of? I don't know too much about the anatomy, but 
the so you know what the cervix is, right? Yeah, cervix is like four inches in, and I was looking. Well, it up. it's deeper when she's aroused. Yeah, or so, or you'd be hurting a lot of girls. Yeah. yeah. So I, but that's the thing is, bro. I looked it up and I noticed that when I would like. I don't know if you guys have you guys ever like felt the cervix? Yeah. Yes. With your penis? Yeah. Okay. So I could feel it. Wait. <laughs> <Go> <laughs> <on. laughs> With your penis? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I was um doing that and the girl that I was with at the time enjoyed it. So and I looked it up and I was like, do people do, is that like a thing? Like can you have like a cervix orgasm or like does it feel good when you hit the cervix? The A spot. Yeah, no, they call it the they call it the C spot. Okay. So yeah, I literally There's looked a lot it up. Of spots. I literally looked it up. It was like they call it the C spot. And so sometimes for girls they get super aroused by it, but other times it can be painful. Yeah, like uh, a lot of girls get like bruised cervix if you uh, Yes, bro. And it's really painful for them where they uh, you have to like literally stop because it's yeah. and they can't keep going. And yeah. I remember with Loki one you girl, kinda have to have a big schlong to do that. Yeah, either that if you're hitting or the cervix, you got a big one. You've either got a big one or she's not aroused. One of them's good news. One of them's yeah, bad yeah. news. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because if she's super aroused, then her cervix is going to move back. But if she's not feeling it, it's, it's kind of like losing a boner. You know, like it's going to come back forward. So Damn, I did not know that. Yeah. Wow. So th- they, because they say like, oh, you only need four inches to stimulate a woman because the vagina is only four inches deep. That's unaroused. When she's aroused, when you're having sex, like, bro, how do you think people with like big wieners have sex? Like, yeah. <laughs> obviously, they're not just breaking through a cervix every time. So yeah. it moves back. Um, and girls can also get used to it. Like if their cervix only moves six inches back and you're seven inches, then as you spend time with her, she can like get used to it. But that's kind of like bro science. But anyway, yeah, there was one time I almost had to bring a girl. I thought we were going to have to go to the hospital because... Everything was normal, and then just one thrust was just a little too much force behind it, and she was like, ow, 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 and like fucking pushed me off really hard, Yeah, and was just like Ugh. like in so much pain, Oof. and I, was, I felt so bad, bro. That leads to another question. Um, have you guys ever like torn like the opening yes. open? Yes, bro. Yeah, that is the God. worst scenario Torn it ever. open? I don't, yeah. got, I don't think I've got enough Where it's like girth for that. Either you're doing the wrong position that's like an awkward angle or like just through this like going really hard. Like you can actually like tear the opening. Yes, and yes. It is like bro. extremely painful for them. That's, Wait, you're the only other person. Yo, Zach's packing a hammer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it bloody? Uh, like, is not it necessarily no. torn. No. Oh. Blood. So, it's not physically okay. torn. It happened with, no, it is. It happened with one girl, and at least for me, it didn't look like much. Like you could see it, but yeah, it wasn't. It, it wasn't like bloody. It. it wasn't. But you think how sensitive, how many nerves there are there. So um, imagine a piece of paper. Is it? Does it look like a piece of paper is torn in half? Imagine just like you kind of like nicked your skin, and there was like a little like scratch on it, Oof. and like some skin was taken off. Like yeah, the, like, like that, but like half the size and not as discolored. It just kind of looked like she. <sighs> So it happened, and then, like, the next round, I would, like, try to go in, and she kind of, like, pushed me off, and, and then she was, like, there's something wrong. So I had to examine with, like, a flashlight. To know this like, is, like, a little... Medically, like, a fucking gynecologist, and I'm, like, oh, is that it? And I touched it, and she, like, It just looks like a little irritation spot. It's yeah. not, like, bleeding. It's yeah. just, like, a little bit of redness. But it, it took is it days. Permanent? It took No, it took days to heal, though. Yeah. It took days to heal. Damn. And bro, might, so might have to start BPC in. I would like, say like a few. <laughs> <laughs> BPC. This won't hurt a bit. Just BPC right and in there. TV 500 God, on that bitch. I'm not a girl. And even that, even that makes me cringe. Yeah, imagine yeah. BPC <laughs> in there. Dude, imagine like BPC in your nip. Oh, I'd rather BPC my nip than my pussy if I had one. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Fuck. Yo, wait. Do you think a nipple orgasm is possible? <laughs> Dude, I because have you guys bro, ever seen like radiating nipple clamps, <laughs> bro? What? Yeah, no, we actually have, wait, bro, I, bro, we have that booklet here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that booklet. booklet. Oh yeah, I'm buying shit from that. We bro. have the booklet that's got the pictures and everything of the of the. <laughs> it's got the one the clamp that goes here. Bro, wait, can, can, the, did I already tell the story of how I had shit and you were trying to tell? Wait, this but girl? I want, but I want to answer this question. Okay, okay, answer, I want to answer. answer. I, I want to see write that down. because, bro, supposedly there's. Nipple orgasms. Girls can have nipple orgasms. I did not know that. That's weird. So there's like the clit, the clitoris orgasm. Yeah. Which is like, um, like using the wand or like a vibrator or something like that. And then there's like G spot orga- orgasm from intercourse. Yeah. 
and then I guess you can consider C spot, which is like the cervix. And then I, f- I swear that that was called the A spot. It could be. I don't know. Who fucking knows? I think people just make this I shit think up. A spot. It might be anus. Anus. Order. Nah, because no, no, it wasn't. And no then order. there's the nip, nip, um, orgasm, which I've heard is possible, but I don't know. I've never done it. Oh, bro. Some girls have over. No way. Nipples. I got. I gotta explain this. I have had exactly one time in my life a hands-free orgasm through mental just willpower. I swear to God. And I wait, you did? Yes. How was that even so you came was, just from your thoughts? Yeah, because I saw I saw well in like like um flexing the PC muscle. And I saw Whoa. on some I think it was Tosh.0. Oh. Remember that old show? Tosh.0? Yeah, Tosh. oh. yeah. yeah. And it was this funny vid of this like yogi who who like gave himself a hands-free orgasm just by like meditating and i'm like that seems fucking crazy i'm gonna try that and it worked it took like 15 minutes of just like pure willpower and strength and it wasn't that great but i did Bro, it Bro, this guy it. that's, that's insane, insane yeah, dude. dude you're enlightened <laughs> <laughs> that's Holy almost shit. like that's almost kind of like you had a wet dream but like you're awake mm. while you did it so have you guys ever yeah. had a wet dream yeah i've never Mm-mm. really i've never had a wet dream I peed my pants one time on vacation in Hawaii, and my mom was like, "Can I, like not can I smell it?" But she smelled it, <laughs> and she was like, "To make sure it was pee." And I was young. I was young at the time. I don't even think I was. I was shooting loads at the time. I think it was probably just uh, blanks. You know how like before puberty, like did you guys ever jerk off before puberty? Yeah, and they were clear. they were clear. Yeah, they yeah, were clear. Yeah. Some well, I actually didn't even. Sometimes I wouldn't even come anything. I had I had a couple. Yeah, yeah, same. But I had a couple. Um, <laughs> Wait, I, I I had a couple. Um, fuck, what was I gonna say? You were just talking right before the pee thing. What dreams? You, yeah, yeah. I had a couple when I was doing no fat. Me and David were. I don't know if he still does it. What his routine's like, but we were religiously doing no fat because I don't know. Give anything a shot for a few weeks, mm-hmm. and that's when I had a few wet dreams. And I sometimes I'd wake up during, and I'd be like. Oh, Fuck. Like I was so peacefully sleeping And then other times it would be in the morning Where it was like half dried And it's like oh, oh god man, You didn't bro. even wake up Yeah I know Wait but what were you going to say when you said you are going to write it down Because we're coming oh, up on yeah, an hour yeah. 45 Yeah but we don't need to cut it off That's remember, true people, But it, it do be 2.30am Yeah I know <laughs> Oh yeah yeah When you um, Did I tell the story in the last podcast Where you had a girl coming over And she said she was kinky But you didn't have enough toys So <laughs> Oh did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did, this was in the. Did I say that in the last one? No, or no? no, no. Okay, no. so it was the early stages of of young Sush. Yeah. Well, I mean, this was like a few weeks ago, right, or like a month ago, something like that. Let's not and put time span time span <laughs> on anything, please. And you you had some girl coming over, and she was like, "Oh, I'm kinky. I'm into this and that." And she's like, "Are you kinky?" And Sush is like, "Yeah, I'm kinky." And he <laughs> sent her a picture of the magic. At wand. the time, I only ha- I only owned the wand. Yeah, and he was in. He thought it was like Big Dick King over here, and she's like, "Okay, cool, whatever. What else?" Yeah. Whoa. And no, no, she didn't say that. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, She's yeah. like, "Show me what else you have." Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I was like, "What else?" I was like, "Fuck, dude." What else so she I'm need? so yeah, right. So oh, I'm showering. Homie was in the bathroom, bro. I'm showering, and Sush goes into my room. Don't even ask. Doesn't ask. I mean, I would, I, I would let you anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But he doesn't even ask. I'm showering. And he takes pictures of all of my sex shit yeah. <laughs> and sends it to her. And she, she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So then, but then. She actually came over. Oh, she's she like, damn, over. this guy's a freak. Oh, should we play? Yeah, right. We so. to come over and I had a, I next day shipped <laughs> restraints. <laughs> so he had to order the exact same shit. Yeah. So, so like, look the exact same. It's a match same. picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next day. So he was ordering. Bitch. But you didn't order all the stuff. No. You just ordered like one thing. Yeah. It was like the, the restraints. restraints. Yeah. That we talked about last ep- last podcast. The but restraints. <laughs> bro, the restraints came with, they came with this booklet. When I ordered them, they didn't come with anything. It was just restraints, handcuffs, blindfold. When Sue shorted them, it came with the booklet that you guys saw. And oh my God. this shit has the most wild stuff <laughs> yeah, I've ever seen. Dude. Some of the stuff I'm just like, okay, like that is just way too far. Yeah. Like. Some, electric some of it shock was cool. stuff, dude. The electric, electric shock, shock stuff. Like, okay, I mean, I'll probably uh, try it. But like, yeah, maybe in a couple of years when I'm no, really No, no, but bored. it's not like shock. It's stim. It's stim. Yeah. Which I'm thinking if you guys like, have ever had, okay, well, like maybe. You have know? you ever had knee surgery or anything like that? Mm, no. If you guys have ever had ACL surgery and they, they call it like stim and ice. So they'll put the stim pads on your quads 
and they'll just for like 30 minutes they throw a yeah, ice yeah. pack on you and they go I had that at the chiropractor. Yeah, and it goes and it kind of just like makes your muscles flex. Yeah, flex and then yeah. relax. Flex yeah. and then relax for like 30 minutes it's like yeah. working out but you're not actually working out. Right. So that's what that is, but like for your dick, bro. It, there was one that was the magic wand with electro stim built in and I'm just thinking like bro, what if I get this for her and she just dumps me cuz she doesn't need me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, bro. No, but then there was some there was some wild shit in there, like super wild, like like the chastity belts for guys. Oh my god! And All like, I can recall is seeing something that said "the gates to hell." Yeah, <laughs> the gates to hell. It was the chastity. It was it was it was a bunch of rings that go yeah, around the your rings. Dick. The ring. <laughs> it was metal stainless steel rings connected with leather. Yeah, that so, went around and, your penis. And like, it doesn't the, allow the you. The harder you got, like yeah. the more it hurt. So it's like Jeez. it's like pain. You so know? crazy. I would never do. I don't see you want saying. that. Yeah, no. Yeah. There's some yeah. people that are into pain. We don't want to kink shame, but there are some people that are into pain. Not really into that shit. But like, what were you gonna do say? You. So do you remember last podcast with Kenny? We were talking about. I wouldn't want my girl to use it, the magic wand alone. Yeah. I'm not joking. Um, I'm not gonna put timestamps on anything, but. <coughs> some. Uh, Don't tell me you I, walked in on a girl using it alone. I was sho- I showered and she was like, "Like, hey, you're gonna hop in the shower. Do you mind if I use the wand?" Oh boy! And I was like, "No." You just you just opened up a whole new era of this woman's life, bro. I know. And I said no. <laughs> and then you said no. No. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said, "Oh," and she said, "Do you mind?" I said, "No." Okay. And then I came back out and she was like, "I figured out like what setting I wanted and stuff." So mm-hmm. I guess like it's not that bad. But yeah. now she knows like what setting because there's multiple set there's ten different settings mm-hmm. on the wand, so now yeah. she knows because there's, there's do, do you ever fuck with the green settings? That's what she likes. She's like, oh, she really? likes the green, third green, Damn. third green one. I just go, I just go max power on like the blue, just like the regular nonstop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. I'm telling you guys. Well, Joe, you got a girlfriend. Once it yeah. gets boring, pull out the wand. Good to know. We need a code with Hitachi. I have a bone to pick with you. What? You always say when it gets boring, do X, Y, Z, but if it's not boring, you don't need that shit. From my perspective, I'd be willing to do this with any girl, but the only girls to where I'm going to be comfortable enough doing it and she's going to be comfortable enough doing it is a girlfriend. So I wouldn't pull half this shit out with a hookup because she's, she'd probably fucking file a restraining order on me. But like with a girlfriend, it's a different story. Because yeah. you're comfortable with each other. That's so it's true. enhancing yeah. it. It's not, oh, it's boring without it. Therefore, we need it. That's true. You but when I, mean? I, I know, at least for me, when I hook up with a girl, I always, I, I kind of use it as um, like warming her up, like sexting. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, yo, like, what are you into? I have X, Y, Z. Or I do X, Y, Z. Or I ask her what she does. And right. then I'll like kind of, I can gauge her vibe. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Like I have this. And then kind of mm-hmm. see, and then if she's not into it, then obviously I'm not going right. to do it. Yeah. Because, I mean, some girls are more kinky than others. That is true. Kinky college bitches, right? Yeah, there's some next level. Sorority, next level. sorority girls for sure. Yeah, it tends to be the more sorority. It's the type. it's the uh, Coke and White Claw diet. Oh, yeah. Is what does, <laughs> it, is what does it to them. Yeah. Thursday through Sunday, Coke, White Claw. Yeah. Yep. I feel like there's a certain balance of, like, Girls can get to a certain level of kinky without any psychological issues, but after a certain level, that is coming from a deep-rooted place of pain. <laughs> so if she's too kinky, it's actually like a turn-off. Yeah. Like if she's into really wacky shit, did I talk about this on the last podcast? I had some girl that wanted me to like punch her in the face like as hard no, as I could. No, you didn't. We didn't get, oh, we didn't get dude, it. That sounds yeah. like some of the DMs I'd be getting <laughs> from the dudes. Yeah. From the guys, yeah. Yeah, from guys. From the guys, they're into the muscle worship pain well, like, type yeah. shit. It w- Weird. Like, she wanted me to, at first it was like smack me in the face. I'm like, uh, okay. Like, yeah, that's you know? terrible. Like, well, I mean like a little, like wake up, you know, chop, chop. Right, that's right. okay. But like she wanted, she wanted like pain. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I did it and she immediately was like harder with like intensity in her what? eyes. And I was like, Whoa. So I did it a little bit harder and then she kept like asking for it. Didn't that and freak you out a little bit? Like you were a little bit turned off from that. Oh yeah. At that yeah. point, at that point I was turned off. Yeah. And then <laughs> She kept asking with like vigor. She like wanted it harder. And then eventually, like I was hit, it was going pretty hard. So I'm like, okay, like she wants it. I guess I'll give her the fucking wind up. The and May, fucking, one, two Mayweather. Boom. One, two Mayweather. And dude, and she started crying. And then we had, and then directly after. And then you feel like terrible, right? Well, I felt really bad, but I was but also like, okay. she wasn't crying because of the hit. 
Yeah, she no, no, she wasn't. And I felt bad, but I was also like, okay, like, why did you ask me to do that? Yeah. And then we had to sit down and have a conversation about her dad. She had some issues with her dad, and I'm like, this all makes and sense, that bro. Ruined everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I've had girl a girl ask me to slap her. Like, can we? Can you slap me? Mm-hmm. Like before we were about to have sex, and I was like, honestly, no, because if I do, I think I'm gonna laugh, and it would just totally ruin. Yeah, like I can't do I mean, it with a straight it, face. It, it has to come naturally. Yeah, and it can't be. I can't hard. premeditate it. I can't be like, okay, I'm gonna slap her at this right, moment. Right, right, right. But it like, it has to be natural, I'm, and it's got to be like pretty like intense. If it's like, there's obviously like there's slow, like passionate, and then there's like intense sex. You're not gonna be having like you're not gonna be making love to a girl. Yeah, and having smack like slow her sex, and then just, <laughs> bam, out of nowhere, fucking yeah. knock imagine, her out. Imagine James just slapping anyone in general. I like know, being bro, this guy's got a fucking. You'd be like, oh, I'm with so, the, so this. sorry. This is a thirty man. pound hand. Just imagine, <laughs> bro. Did I talk about spitting in the last podcast? Because I just recently got into like spitting and like spitting on her, and Ooh. like Ooh. spitting on her, like um spitting in her mouth and stuff. <sighs> I feel like I did talk about that in the last podcast. I don't really I don't know, know. Maybe though. you did. Maybe I did. But what do you guys think about that? Like spitting? Have you ever spit in a girl's mouth? Also, like personally, not my thing. Like I never, it just doesn't do anything for me. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, James. What do you think? It, I, it didn't for a long time, but um, it's, uh, recently I've become more open to it. It's not so much that it does something for you, but it's the fact that they like it. Girls do seem yeah. tend yeah, to yeah, like it more. They like it. And then that makes you want to do it because it's like, oh, like I'm helping her out. Because you know that TikTok. Okay. No, it's, just, TikTok it's trend. just really. Okay. You know that TikTok trend where it's like, I would never let anyone spit in my mouth, spit yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, dun, 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 dun. yeah. So it's like, that just goes to show that girls are low key into that shit. Have you spit in your girl's mouth? Uh, I actually have not. No. She never really like asked for it. So I don't think I have. Yeah. No, I'm not going like, to yeah. do it if you don't want it. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's super degrading when, like, you do it to her because it's like, I mean, just the act of it. I don't need to explain why that's degrading as yeah. fuck. <laughs> but they, but we, we had a conversation about this one time during crackhead hours is that they, sometimes they like being degraded. No, it's no, weird. that's that's the point of what I'm saying is the reason why I like doing it is because it's degrading and 99% of the time girls like that. As long as it's, there's a difference between, like, respectfully degrading yeah which sounds no like, it's like it only degrading wrong. them during sex and then right and then showing them respect other, yeah exactly 23 other hours like of the day during, you're very respectful yeah exactly and but during sex you just kind of like let the let the demons fly you know yeah and just kind of like yeah. and a lot of girls like especially the ones that are into being more submissive like being degraded not in like a slap me until i cry kind of way but just little stuff like spitting in the mouth yeah i agree with that all right. Well, that was a that was quite. We talked about a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah we did. And honestly, stuff that we didn't even plan on talking about. That was off the dome. Yeah. yeah sir. But guys, it is uh two forty five a.m. <laughs> um, Joe and Zach are out of here in twenty four hours. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Direct, like yeah. leaving at the airport. This we'll be pretty much tomorrow. in twenty four we'll hours at this time tomorrow. So we had to get this podcast done. It's actually Friday, or it's like Saturday morning. Yeah. So we had dropped the previous podcast which is doing pretty good so far Mm -hmm. so we appreciate you guys fucking with it um next week so also i just want to say you guys have double just about doubled kenny's following and like yeah you guys really loved kenny which is fucking dope because we love him as well yeah i think he's gotten like a like 12 11 or 1200 followers in like seven hours which is just insane so yeah thank Um, you guys next week at the time you guys are seeing this we have a very special guest i'm not going to get too into it but you'll see um, it'll be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. So can we all give a round of applause for, uh, Joe and Zach being here? Thank them in the comments for the algorithm. And also I do want to go ahead. A round of applause. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I do want to, um, <laughs> Thank you. if you guys have like, if you guys are watching this all the way to the end, like just let us know in the comments. Cause I want to see how many people are actually watching like to the very end. Mm-hmm. So put down, watch till the end right now. And that'll boost the algo. But yeah, make sure you guys go following them on IG. Their ads will be in the description. And uh, I think that's going to wrap up episode number four Four, of Modcast. Thank you all for watching. We love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.